Hello. Welcome to another episode of the Chrissy Mayer Podcast. We are on iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, and SoundCloud. And if you're listening to us on iTunes right now, please leave a five-star review. I want to shout out some stand-up dates really quickly. Let's go to my website. Uh, thank you for everybody who came to the Jersey show uh, in Morris Plains. That was a real hoot. Okay, uh, this weekend I'm heading to Orlando to Megacon. I'll be doing a Simpcast live panel uh, Saturday, this Saturday, the 21st at 6 o'clock with Anna, that Star Wars girl, and Brittany Venti. Check us out. Then I'm heading to St. Louis Wednesday, May 25th. I'll be at the Helium Comedy Club. Then I'm heading to Illinois Friday, May 27th to McHenry uh, to headline the Vixen with my buddy Crip Daddy. I'm excited to see to see him and have him perform on my show. Then I'll be in Chicago. We're doing two Simpcast live shows in Reggie's in Chicago Saturday, May 28th, 7.30 and 10 o'clock. Then I'm headlining in Buffalo at Nickel City Cigars Saturday, July 16th. This is a pretty cool show. Uh, I don't know if you're if there are any men listening that are into cigars, but that's going to be the kind the kind of show that this is. Here we go. Look at this. A night with Chrissy Mayer looks almost sexual, but it won't be. I mean, it might be a little, but not not in the way you're thinking. Uh, price includes a premium cigar and. 24 hour access to the fun cigar club, the private club membership, uh, no drink minimums. And you know, what's great about this is if you use promo code CMP, uh, all leading up to my show in Buffalo, you get, I think 15% off of the nickel city cigar website. So if you go to nickelcitycigars.com and use promo code CMP, uh, you get a discount on all of their merchandise and all their cigars and stuff, which is pretty, pretty cool. And then in September, I think September 8th, I will be in Austin, Texas at the Cap City Comedy Club. Then September 14th, I'll be at the Helium in Philly. So I would love to see you guys there. Comedy, comedy shows, man. Good times. Also... Uh, I took my t-shirts off of tpublic.com because censorship. They they did not like my rooting for Putin design, so they took it off. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to take all my shirts <laughs> off of tpublic. So now my shirts are all going to be on flagranttriggers.com. Get the classic rooting for Putin shirt. It's super soft. Uh, this price includes shipping. And, and then there's also the classic Mayor Mayor shirt. If you enjoy the Obama era, this will be the shirt for you. And uh, we're adding more designs shortly. So, yeah, check out flagranttriggers.com, please, and thank you. A quick shout-out to our sponsor. Yeah, I like this sponsor. Because it's about crypto. Yeah, the music, guys. We've seen so many people making ridiculous money from crypto. I mean, I know there's a dip right now, but they're not all fucked. Some of them are still good. And did you know that it's easy for you to do the same? The Copy My Crypto membership site shows you the exact same cryptos that YouTuber James McMahon personally holds and allows you to copy him. It's like having a big brother who knows what he's doing. You don't have to know a thing about crypto or investing or finance. You don't have to know anything about any of that stuff. You just simply do what he does. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about James. He runs the Crypto with James YouTube channel, which despite heavy censorship has over 15,000 subscribers and 1 million views. Since March of 2020, he's told his viewers to buy 26 crypto coins. Had you put 100 bucks into each one, it would now be worth over 66K. Of these 26 coins, his top pick of the year is a coin called Phantom, and it's currently up around 440 times from when he started. That one call alone has retired a number of people including guys and girls in their 20s and 30s. Remember, this is all public knowledge. You can check this out for yourself on YouTube. So if this is sounding interesting to you and you'd like to join the 1,300 members who copy James and stop what you're doing and head over to copymycrypto.com slash mayor, that's spelled M-A-Y-R, you'll not only find proof of everything I've just said, but my listeners get full access for just $1. You won't find this offer anywhere, anywhere else, but act fast because this is a new year offer and it will expire soon. 
That's copymycrypto.com forward slash M-A-Y-R. Check it out. Get get your money. <sighs> Copy my crypto. I like this music. All right. All right, guys. I hope he's here. I saw him come in and then he left. <laughs> oh, I'll give, I thought I had to vamp more. Okay, good. He's here. Yay. I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, welcome to the show. He's done this show before. He's done. He's done my show on Compound Media, the wet spot, uh, at least once. And he did uh, this other show I did called Never Have I Ever during the pandemic. That was fun. Anyway, uh, he's back here tonight, the host of the Kill Stream. Welcome back to the program, Ethan Ralph. Christy, can you hear me? I, you know, I did the show before you got famous, so. No, so I'm still waiting to get famous, <laughs> but thank you. Well, you're close. I, I don't know. I'd have to say you're, you're getting there uh, for sure. And honestly, um, you know, not to toot my own horn. Uh, but actually, um, toot it. Well, you know what? I will toot it. Uh, toot you, it. you and many others, uh, I noticed came up through the kill stream circuit, uh, so to speak. Uh, and I'm Ooh. from Memphis, uh, and I'm a wrestling fan and Memphis used to be, um, like, you know, it wasn't WWF, right? It wasn't New York. It wasn't even WCW. It wasn't even, <laughs> it wasn't even the number two, but it was one of those steps on the ladder uh, until you got to the, to the money. It did you feel know? like a step. It felt like the first time I went on your show, it, it felt like a moment. And then I was like, I was nervous because I was like, I don't, I didn't know what to expect. I've done, I think I've done it at least twice. Sure. Yeah. You've been on the show a couple of times and, yeah. um, you know, uh, all jokes aside, uh, I take pride in seeing somebody who, who, who was on my show. And then by the way, it wasn't like it was a few months after, like immediately after you just were moving up the ladder and then talk about hustle. I have never, and, and this is coming from a fellow host, uh, of course, um, you have to respect hustle and, and you just see the names that you've gotten, uh, Aww. on your show and it's, wow. it's quite amazing. And I will say, um, also you keep your nose a little cleaner <laughs> than I, I don't, do you mean I don't do cocaine? <laughs> well, I meant that. And also you're just nicer too, but, but you, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you, you do really good in terms of getting people on your show oh. and that I respect. Wow. Uh, and so I want to give you a, a little tip of the cap there. Uh, I'm overwhelmed. I was not, I was not expecting compliments. Wow. I never am though. Well, I'm bad I mean, you know, them. yeah, I mean, it's, it's true. Like, I, I don't know if people realize, of course, you know, I've been ripping and running so much the last two or three weeks. I haven't even been able to schedule too many guests, but it actually, that's like a whole, you know, segment of the job basically. It is. <laughs> the, to re the reaching the out, the waiting, yeah, the, yeah. The sometimes never hearing back. And then you're like, Oh, do they hate me? Well, or do well, they just never? <laughs> well, see, yeah. And that's what you think. You're like, Oh man, this guy must really not like me or this lady or whatever. Uh, usually that's not the case. Um, it's just, they didn't see it or they forgot. Sometimes it is the case for sure. Uh, but usually not, but, um, yeah, that's definitely not the most fun part of the job, but, um, you know what I, I say that, but when you really lock something down and you get it set up, it is a great feeling. Like that's just, you know, I am having a, what's her name? Ab is it Abby? It's Abby, right? Abby Shapiro oh. <laughs> in a couple weeks. Yeah. So that I, I'm expecting a lot of simps in the chat I for that say, one. Yeah, I, I I know a couple things about her. I spring to mind uh, off top, but uh, like her boobs, <laughs> big big titties. Uh, you know, from the there's top. two there's two main reasons I'm having her on, but I won't tell you what what they are. Um, we'll have to tune in. But she does her own thing, doesn't she? Play the piano or something like she uh, plays the piano. Okay, I think so. I don't know whether titties, titties or not. Uh, I've been enjoying these uh these Twitter these leaked Twitter videos, and I I didn't realize there was more than one. And and it's funny that Twitter is like a, in their internal emails they're referring to people who work at Twitter as tweeps. Tweeps, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> tweeps, it's almost like a twerp or a creep. Um, I was just watching this one before when I was waiting for you. And now, of course, the window is scrolling. But I didn't realize there was a gay guy on one of these. 
Project Veritas dates. Like people so, always expect, like, oh, the it's gonna be a hot girl. And I that's what I want to know. I, I want to turn the camera that. around and see what we're working with here. Like so first off, I saw a little bit of this. I've been in DC all day. I rode to DC for this lame ass protest. We ended up, you know, just messing around, but I was streaming the whole time. And so I did see a little bit of what was going on. First off, I saw the tweeps thing. I see I see Dick Masterson here uh talking about it and some other people. <laughs> <laughs> on my timeline timeline targeting of tweeps uh is is the headline i guess they sent this out to their own people i don't know yeah uh, i want to see uh, if i can i want to play this i want to pull it up well Let's there was another <laughs> elon musk actually weighed in on this himself uh, <laughs> right he said is this true yeah right like that was the <laughs> and <laughs> Rolling. Basically, I just don't want anything to mess up this Elon Musk deal because my Twitter account is worth too much money to my business. And, you know, that's been one of the existential. <laughs> I mean, just you're anxious account. about it. Well, yeah. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, I have the blue check, of course. I'm Twitter royalty, but, uh, you know, they will they will still take out people like that. Uh, and long term, you just kind of take it for granted that they're going to ban you off Twitter. I mean, at least I did. Uh, and so you see the white knight Elon coming up and I just hope he stays the course. Uh, uh, I, every time I see any tweet or any story, I get fearful that he might change his mind. Right. Is he for us? Is he against us? I have the, I mean, I don't know much, but of what I've heard, it seems like he's just trying to like drive the price down a little bit if he can. That's what I think. I mean, and well, like he'll he'll either torch the whole, burn the whole thing down, or make it better. Like I'm. Well, I'm so kind of okay with we got either. a couple things going for us. And again, I read the same thing you did. <laughs> Basically, a couple are. You know, he's trying to drive the price down a little bit, and also he owns, you know, nine ten percent of the company already, <laughs> and he paid a premium price for it. So he doesn't really want to drive that price down for it, right? Like, I mean, he's going to lose all that money. Um, yeah. I want to uh, listen to the... To yeah, go ahead. Play it. Hold on. Censorship to make it correct, quote-unquote, again. And what does correct mean? I guess like, it just kind of goes into the idea of, like, well, what is correct? If we're implementing all these rules that there's, and Elon wants to dismantle them, then technically our ideology has led us to not making money because we're not making money and Elon wants to turn up the <laughs> I like that that he's being real like this whole thing is funny this whole so second I, half of this video is funny what, like I, I, and please i don't want to stop it too much but i read a quote and and apparently they're they're quoted as saying we're all commies <laughs> 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 The other, and the other video is like, oh, we're 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 commie as fuck or something. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna keep playing this because it gets funnier. Right. The other way, so that we can make money. There's a statement they need all seven thousand people to say, and so they can't like tell us that like the real truth. Yes, Oscars. Yeah, yeah, I know that. <laughs> so wow. Your special needs. You're literally special needs. <laughs> so no, I, I can't even take what you're saying seriously. Targeting of tweets. Wait, 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 you can read it. Let me see. And how to protect yourself. Groups like Project Veritas. Are <laughs> I like that you read it wrong on purpose. Yeah, like pretend this is the first time you're seeing these words. <laughs> I'm I'm shocked that they didn't put Grinder on this list uh, of because that's clearly where these two met. <laughs> he sounds a little light in the lovers. I have to agree. We're active right now. <laughs> is that? Yeah. It's like some group that's trying to just out the employees. <laughs> like they're trying to go on dates with them like this and record them and then go sell it to the New York Times and say this is what the Twitter employee just said. This is what's really happening. This is what they're telling us to not do. You're lucky that you met me organically because I would be questioning everything about you. Ah, now put your dick in my mouth. I love this. <laughs> Yeah. Imagine the guys like I'm not even gay. I just wanted the scoop so badly. <laughs> I just want to get this video to Project Veritas. Veritas, man, they keep getting the goods every time. Um, I don't know if they have some secret sauce or like how they pick them. I but, man, imagine they, they have just a squadron of tens that they send yeah. out. All kinds, all colors, like United Colors of Benetton of hot chicks, like every type for every. Yeah, dude. I yeah. think there's hot chicks. I think there's gay dudes. I think there's drugs. <laughs> gay, gay, gay for pay, buys, tries, theys. 
I think it's whatever it takes. I respect that though. That's what I want to see because that's what they're doing on the other side. I mean, I don't care whatever it takes, you know, yeah. I mean, don't kill somebody. I, I'll, you know, do anything like that. Uh, don't break, don't break the law fully, you know, a little bringing some drugs to the table. I don't know. I, I don't support it, but I could understand it, I guess. As well. Yeah. Do you think these people like, I mean, are they going to start checking for a body cam before every date? I mean, that's sort of, but who care? I mean, who? I mean, well, you do know, these people care about their jobs that much? Like, they'd probably rather get laid in that moment than th than like worry about their job. Well, honestly, you think about it, and I mean, what is it going to be like? I mean, I grew up loving mafia mafia movies, right? And and uh, just knowing about the mafia and how they brought them down and etc. and all the intricacies. Like, is it going to come to that <laughs> where you have to, like? Pat somebody down. Um, I don't know. I feel like most people are just not gonna like care. I'm and just so imagining like that. James O'Keefe in that scene where like, um, God, is it casino? <laughs> is it Scarface? Now I sound really horrible, but he's got like cocaine all over his face, and then he ends up like falling into his own fountain. Um, I hope that doesn't happen. I adore James O'Keefe, and I feel like I interviewed them before they blew up. I had James on, and I had like wow. one of their other main guys on. This was like what maybe two years ago yeah it was, two, it was two years ago and they like barely had time for me it was very exciting they were no, like no. even they were like oh, they were on a they were on a hunt they were like about to pounce on someone i forget what the, yeah but that's a solid get like i mean i wasn't just uh you know tooting your horn uh earlier at the start of the show like that's a solid get even two years ago james o'keefe was a legend uh, oh my god Kelsey yeah more so and so like like i wasn't just uh, i was nervous the whole time i was like oh, yeah, trying not to say this is an actual fucking legend herself like, like i i um actually just like sit there and see who all you've got on the show i'm like wow okay she put in some work like <laughs> Yeah. So, and Ethan, yeah. see, like what I don't know. I feel like you and I are cool. And I, I want to understand why there's like I feel like you're a misunderstood person. Uh -huh. I feel like I don't understand. I I feel like you unfairly get a lot of hate and get a lot of shit. But I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm the stupid one. Like I I I because I remember I like how we kind of were chatting a little bit the other day because you might have been concerned that on Simpcast. Like someone brought up like, oh, Ethan has this sex tape or whatever. And I was like, I want to be a, I want to be supportive. Like I want to like, why would I not want to watch a sex tape? So I'm like watching it. And then I'm like making little jokes about the room being cluttered or whatever. Um, and then I was worried that, you know, that you thought that we were all like just talking a ton of shit. And I was really not trying to talk shit about you. I was just like, oh, I'm going to make jokes at the room. Because what am I going to like oh. talk about what's going on? But then I noticed that you and Lauren Southern had more of a beef and I didn't know where that came from. If that sure. was like a long standing beef. No, nah, I, I wouldn't know. say long standing. First off, um, like I said at the top, uh, I, I mean, I guess it's what a couple of years now, right? Like uh, that I've known you. We've always got along. Um, I, I actually heard about the clip. I never did. Like, um, if, if, if it's something that, um, like I didn't watch it basically is what I'm saying. Right? <laughs> like You didn't uh, watch your own thing. Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't watch. I didn't watch like, because people were like, Oh, so-and-so's talking shit. Oh, okay. Oh, so, like I didn't watch because, you know, I feel like sometimes, um, if you watch something, you're like watching it to get mad, or like, you know, you're looking for something or whatever. So I just messaged you and I was like, you know, they're saying this or that or whatever. Um, and you mentioned the joke about the room for, of course, my room is really dirty actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in that dude. plus i mean you're a comedian like i mean i would expect you to to make a joke i wouldn't i wouldn't take something like that maliciously um and i guess um and i've talked to you about this i think anybody maybe who could think about what it's like to be me maybe <laughs> um could see like what do you mean by that uh well i mean i'm I, i'm under um huge uh, attack and scrutiny basically there's an army of people every single day like trying to fuck with me um when did this all start like have you ever since you had the kill stream you feel like you've had a group of 
people after you? Or well, I mean, I would say like it's not a sad story because you kind of sign up for it. Um, I mean, you've had people fuck with you too, right? Constantly. Uh, yeah. So when you're a public figure, you kind of sign up for that. Um, so the th like, I don't want to like make it a sad story. Um, although I will say. Um, I think for me, it's it's a different level than it is for most people uh, in terms of people fucking with my personal life and like attacking me and, and stuff like that. I've been swatted, you know, I don't know, like eight times, uh, including just wow. recently where they brought guns to my house. That's and more than Tim Pool. That's pretty. Well, I feel like you haven't made it till you've been swatted. Yeah, and it's up there with that. And again, you know, some of it. You kind of bring, I can't, like, I am a bombastic person, right? Like, I mean, um, I talk a lot of shit, so um, you you expect a little bit of, you know, you expect some return fire, but um, I, I guess um, I guess what I meant by that when I say when you're me is... Like, you're fun. I feel like you are good at creating a show. You're a showman. You have showmanship. I feel like you like you could be an old timey circus uh like coordinator. Oh, yeah. That's, That's <laughs> the greatest uh, compliment. Yeah. Um I feel like um, a lot of these people online are boring to be honest with you. Um if you can't bring some kind of pizzazz to it, um here and there at least. I mean when you do a show, not every day is pizzazz central, uh right? Like sometimes it's just ho hum. Uh, but if you can't throw that in there every once in a while, you suck, um, I, I guess. Um, but but what I meant by when you're me, um, it's not to, to, to like make it a sad song. It's just um, the reality of people are always sending me stuff saying so-and-so is talking shit or so-and-so is doing uh, okay. um, And so I knew, you know, I know you, right? Um, I, I've been on your show in person, actually, in New York City and um, – you know, we talked, my mom passed away. I just talked about this on Twitter a year ago yesterday. Um, and you dealt with that and we talked about that and just serious stuff. Um, and yeah. also I respect you as a host of your own show, uh, to where if somebody says so-and-so is talking shit, well, I would just rather talk to you directly and, and see if that was the case. And it didn't seem to be the case. So, and yeah, no, I was glad that you reached out. So, so that's what, what happened, I, what happened with that? Uh, I mean, <laughs> like when you're me, I don't know. Uh, I have a lot of. Um, Do you feel like you <laughs> at all an, a tiny bit like. Uh, I don't know, maybe encourage the drama sometimes. Sure. Well, yeah, I mean, um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm a showman, like you said. Um, and sometimes when you know that's what people are going for. Will you, will you lean into what's going to draw? Yeah. I mean, for sure. Um, but I, if it was my choice, um, I wouldn't make certain things in my personal life, such a focus other entities and, you know, I have to be careful. Of course, what I can say, et cetera. Certain entities have decided to make those things um, like front street, type issues and so you just kind of got to deal with it i guess I, I don't know i mean i guess the alternative is just go away and leave and i, I mean i'm not gonna do that so we we're saying you wish certain parts of your life were not a focus or were well, not so, about. so i have a i have a daughter that's that's not the part by the way that i'm talking about um but i also have a son who i haven't been able to see um in person his entire life he's about to turn how old is he He's about to turn a year old uh, on the 27th. Um, and, you know, some of the people who tag me make that a, a focus or try to use that against me, which, again, I've been around. I've said a lot of um, colorful things, uh, I guess you could say. Um, so, again, I'm not trying to make it a sad song. Uh, it is what it is, right? Like, I signed up for this. I decided to play a certain way when I did sign up for it. Um, so of course people are going to use that against me, but still that's something I have to live with every day. Right. Like that's something I have to do. Are you with working day. on trying to see him or do you feel like it's a situation that's no, not... I've, I've actually, um, we had the paternity done, which I already, you know, I already knew, but it was kind of a formality. How does a paternity test go? Do you have to, do you have to like jizz into a cup or something? I didn't have or to. Did it... 
they I, stick a Q-tip in there? Like, no, I didn't have to jizz. They, um, uh, it was it was a um, mouth swab basically. Uh, okay. So they did a, a double swab uh, in my mouth, uh, so I didn't I didn't have to jizz. I didn't have to piss. Uh, so that was that was an improvement. So they did that, and of course it was, you know, ninety nine point nine nine whatever that it was my son. Uh, and so we're close. I hope. Uh, and again, I'm not trying to put them out there. Of course, they have their own thoughts uh, and what have you. But uh, hopefully, I'm close to seeing them. You know, there's negotiations going on and, and stuff like that. So okay. Yeah, it, I have hired a lawyer. I've taken the paternity. Um, so that's the next step. And so that's kind of, I can understand like not liking when people bring up your kids. Cause there's something going on now where there is a, a guy, he, he used to have a show on compound media and then he was thrown off the network and he started doing his own shows where he would like sort of exact, he would, he would talk about comedians. He would exaggerate stories. He would for anywhere from an exaggeration to like a full out lie about a comedian. And he would like, similar like kind of a showman he would like create you know a storyline it was like fan fiction basically but like all negative pretty much right and he this is where he kind of crossed the line he um he was talking about it was actually sam tripoli and he had like a picture of his daughters and said like he was gonna do something not nice to them and and sam like was like fuck this like lost it I think went out to, to like his house to go talk to him. He wouldn't open the door. Like, cause for him, that was a line too well, far. Yeah. Like nobody's kids, uh, kids are not public figures. Nobody's kids want to be well, part of this. So. Say certain things. It's like, okay, well look, you took it to a certain place. I, I don't know, man. Um, and I, I don't know for sure who you're talking about. I think maybe I do, but, um, uh, he was in Chicago. Now he's like, I think, hiding out in Arizona. I've heard, but yeah, yeah. he hasn't done anything. There's rumors that he was dead, and that I well, actually heard he that he was dead, dead and his girlfriend yeah, was like continuing about. to charge yeah. subs. And I heard he was, I heard he was sick. I don't know. Like I don't know. Yeah. The guy, yeah. Um. Like long term. But if it's who I was thinking about, like, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that was just my example of like, don't, don't fuck with people's kids. Like that's a line for a lot of people. Get, I won't get into it. Um, you know, um, I agree with that. Uh, and I agree with that in theory, although like my kids have been fucked with since day one. Um, and so I don't know. I, I agree with that. Technically. I know I caught a lot of shit recently, because somebody sent me an email and I made a smart ass comment or whatever on telegram, which maybe I shouldn't have done. What did uh, you say? <laughs> I said that, um, I, well, I don't recall exactly. I, I said maybe, um, uh, Lauren Southern's kid was going to maybe look like they were going to try to sell me a fake Rolex in times square. <laughs> what did you yeah. actually see? Okay. Like, well, I was out of line. I mean, no <laughs> doubt. Right. Like first off, <laughs> First off, I don't know if that was a who knows if the pitch is real. Whatever, somebody sent me that right. Like I didn't, I didn't say. Wait, were you trying? Was it a black kid? Were you trying to make that joke? No, he just looked dark. Like I don't know. Oh, just, okay, right, because it's mostly so Nigerian looked, guys in Times Square. Roll papers here. He looked about like that color. Maybe. Oh, okay, a little bit like beige. It was a different. Right. So, I mean, I don't know. It was the lighting. Could have so been. This the is this is how this Lord B Southern beef started. I guess I like to say what, southern beef. Uh, I'll tell you how this started. Okay, I'll tell you how this started. Let me get let me get this up. So um first off, I rushed home. I, I had gotten back from Portugal. I had my face. When was this? Well, this you summer? know when it was. I'm about to tell you. I'm uh, I'm trying to make a timeline for the viewer. 1st. It was like February 1st or January 31st, whatever. Okay. You were co-hosting the Odyssey Games. Yep. <laughs> southern. And I was like, okay, I got to get back. I was like, I got to get back for the Odyssey Games. And I get back, and the Odyssey Games is eat a bag of fucking bugs. That's I had no I idea. Hey, that those the games. tell me, tell me that's that's cool. That's not fucking cool. Like I, I don't know. I was pretty upset about that. Actually, I don't know if you. Not the best. Well, Venti was able to get out on a loophole. Yeah. She's she has like I have oh. a shrimp allergy. Oh, okay, yeah. Not in quotes. She had a real yeah. a real shellfish allergy. allergy she got a, it's an allergy to any bugs. Yeah, you know what, Lauren? You need to scarf down those fucking bugs. I, I was. So enraged. is this where the beef began? You were upset yes. about you had to eat the bugs. Okay. Yes. Are you kidding me? What? 
I can't even. It was. Do people what? understand? Like, Listen, there was a the, bag of roaches. There was literally a bag. One roach, one big no, roach, and no, one no, smaller no. bag of a tiny insect. No, 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 no. There was a bag. There was one bag, like a giant tarantula. <laughs> oh, was, right. Oh, yeah, right. There's either a tarantula or like yeah, a water yeah. bug, which is a fancy name for roach. Yeah, there was a full tarantula, like giant size. And then there was. There was a whole bag of roaches. I'm not kidding. <laughs> like, this is what. And I rushed back. I was like, I got to get back. I got to get back. Odyssey Games, like, this is what I need to be a part of. And I got back. And not only, and of course, I was like, I'm not. And people were already piling on me because I had some other drama, shockingly enough, going oh, on. Por the Portugal drama or <laughs> yeah, other drama? Right. Like, everybody was already piling on me. I was like, First off, I wouldn't have ate the fucking bugs regardless, but I definitely wasn't gonna eat the bugs that day. And I was, <laughs> did you? You didn't eat any bugs, I don't think. No, you no, ate not even a little leg. You wouldn't even have a little no, leg of a I bug. I wouldn't have even a, a morsel. I said I wouldn't. And then even an antenna. Well, then they kicked me off the show immediately and made it look like I left. It looked like you left. You didn't I leave. Didn't leave. No, that's the thing. They said, oh, well, Ralph, <laughs> Ralph, rage quit. Rage big, rage quit. I was like, I didn't fucking rage quit. What are you fucking talking about? Maybe you stop wearing well, pink. People won't tell you, you that. Me off pink, Chrissy. She fucking personally threw me off like there's no, no. other answer. Wow, I didn't know you got yeeted from the Odyssey yeah, you got game. yeeted immediately, and they said, oh, fat fuck quit. That's not what happened. No. Anyway. All right, well that stinks, but I guess you were out if you wouldn't eat the bugs. Well, that's true. I, I did. Yeah, sure. You know, right. If it's not Lauren Southern, it's going to be Klaus Schwab telling you that. That's I don't true. Know. That's true. I lost. I mean, there's no doubt about that. But I could have at least said farewell. You could have been a contender. The the final, uh, I guess test or whatever was like somebody had to. Uh, well, you had to like tattoo the Odyssey Games this. logo, yeah. and it was I forget the name of the guy who won. Mm -hmm. Fuck. It was him versus um, Dick, Dick was, Masterson. Uh, and Dick Masterson was pretending the whole time to tattoo himself while the other dude, guy is straight up tattooing himself. Dude, I still haven't went back and watched this. He retold this to me in text, in text messages. And I was like, dude, I gotta sit there and watch it. He said he was like holding the gun like this and Ooh, acting like he was doing very the tattoo. And then the other guy actually did the fucking tattoo. Yeah. And it was decent. I mean, decent for a tattoo that looked like you did it yourself um right. yeah well he got 10 what 10 grand was that the i think so which is like probably just enough to cover tattoo removal <laughs> what, yeah i mean it's not great it's not nothing but it's not all right really we're, we're delving into some super chats uh bear with me here ryan this is Legion games he's oh god he's a plump mad he's plump he's mad he's ethan oh. all right all right, that doesn't even make sense. Joey Jojo, Joey Jojo, is Ethan really f five dead comma one? And why would he have an issue with eating bugs when he literally ate poo poo out of a seventeen year old's dumper and posted online? Okay, I don't, I don't have, I don't have any backstory for this. I mean, so the answer is, this is part of the video that I watched the other day. Well, I mean, there's some creative fan fiction. Uh, in terms of what they add on to the to video, audio visual stuff, but uh, no, that never happened. You no, didn't eat I, poop I, out of an ass. No, no. Okay. I did not do that. Okay. And also, there was no seventeen-year-old involved either, and I'm also okay. not five one, so I would guess that's three lies. In this wow, story. three strikes, you're out, Joey Jojo. Yeah, yeah. Raw tough. alerts. Is Ralph really five one again? No. No, I was standing next to Cisco earlier today. Like, I mean, I guess should I do a pay per view? Like, literally, maybe, maybe I should. I don't maybe know. just walk into a Dunkin' Donuts where they have that height chart, like for yeah, felons yeah, that saying. come in. Yeah, I don't know. I've been, I've stood next to a million people, but uh, there's always some type of like Zabruder film type uh, <laughs> analysis of why I'm shorter than they say. Uh, this is from Ryan Ralph. How's that conversation with Nick Rakita? See, this is what I don't understand. So I don't understand how your and Nick Rakita's beef began. Well, I used to like Nick. Um, you know, he he came up kind of on the killstream circuit that I was talking about uh, at the top of the show. Um, 
always got along with him. Um, you, you know, you alluded to tapes and stuff like that. There were some legal issues. Um, I don't feel like he played fair on that, basically, in terms of um, saying he, he was repping me and then also doing shows with uh, PPP. Ashton Parks, uh, et cetera. Um, saying one thing basically in private, saying another thing on the air. Uh, we kind of got into it last year, had a falling out, and then that spilled over into um, a lot of Schaefer and you are here uh, also, which is no more because Sydney Watson uh, quit the show, I guess. I saw yeah. that. Yeah. I, I, I've been show. waiting for an update for a yeah. while there. It's been. It's been tumultuous. Been terrible news. I was, I was heartbroken to see that. Were you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. So, so I thought that your beef with Nick Rikita was was started because he pointed out that you farted on the live stream, which to that's me is like the is. dumbest thing. Well, that's what he says. So okay. that is so that did come up, right? Like I'm not gonna say that that's nothing, uh, but basically I did a 24 hour stream and then. Oh. 24 hours okay yeah 24 hours straight yeah i think you uh, get one if it's a 24 hour stream well, no, if i would have done it i would have just said that but basically they tried to come up with a false story um did i did i shit myself or farted like i don't know what the full like official canon is i mean it's like chart like, or- I, I would say at least five hundred thousand people have seen my dick so i'm really not concerned with just saying that i farted if that's what happened uh, you might qualify for the AVN awards. That's yeah, right. Cool. Like, I think I need some kind of <laughs> lifetime achievement, AVN or something like. Yeah. I mean, um, but yeah. Anyway, that was uh, basically it. Was just a really good twenty-four hour stream, um, and people that don't like me tried to come in with, "Oh, you shouldn't blah, 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 like as a talking point for like to take shine away from the stream. Uh, okay. So that's kind of that. Okay. And then what happened at the blaze? Because you were supposed to be a guest. And then did you feel like you were going to be ambushed or did you not know that there was going to well, be? I, mean, I didn't feel they said that. Um, so first off, I was supposed to be a guest. That's true. Uh, after Rakeda, he went on there and talked a bunch of shit. Somebody sent me the clip and I said, Hey, I'm going to be in Dallas on April 2nd. Why don't you have me on the show? Uh, and they said, yeah, we'll have you on the show. Great. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, and as we got closer to the show, like I didn't, I haven't heard anything from them or any type of, you know, prep or anything of, of that. From, nothing from, uh, from Elijah. Right. Right. Uh, and so that Sunday I said, nah, I don't think, nah, I don't think so. Right. Like, I, don't, I don't think I'm coming through. Then on that Monday, Rakeda, <laughs> this is what, <laughs> this is the funny part. Rakeda did a stream and Cording was there. Who's a retard. And he went on there and said, oh, wait, weren't you supposed to do a stream with Ralph? And Rakeda at first tried to act like, no, what are you talking about? And then eventually became clear that Quartering knew about the ambush that they had planned on me. And Rakeda oh. said, uh, da, 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 yeah, I was supposed to, but you weren't supposed to say anything. And so then I found that out. Um, and I talked about some things that I had already heard about, uh, Elijah Schaefer, which I don't think he appreciated, uh, me putting out there. Um, I'd already heard that, but uh, I didn't make it public until, until afterwards. So then that happened. Um, I went to the blaze studios. Now I'd already planned to do the ambush, but uh, I told somebody else, uh, big name contributor, um, just a big name personality, I guess you could say. Um, like a buddy of yours? or, or Well, a- I just said what I was planning to do, and they said, wait, I'll talk to Sydney, uh, and you can just come on the show regular, right? You don't have to do the ambush. Uh, and Sydney wanted me to come on the show. And as far as I knew, I was going to be able to come on the show until about five or ten minutes before I got to Blaze Studios, and then I got a call back saying the producer said you can't come on the show. Uh, oh no yeah so why? That was, well i don't know why <laughs> i mean i can imagine why um elijah maybe didn't want to talk about certain things or maybe you know what it might not have even been him personally it could have just been 
Blaze Studios as well. You know what I mean? Like them saying, hey, we don't want this or whatever. That could have been possible too. I don't know for sure. Uh, but I know that Sydney Watson wanted me to come on the show um, and that I thought I was going to be able to come on the show up until about five or ten minutes before I got to the studio. Uh, uh, so what did but, you do instead? Go to like a yeah, raging just- Raisin canes, raisin canes. That's yeah, I, I, just, I just ambushed them outside the studio and, and called. Oh, them. you did? You waited for them outside the studio? Yeah, yeah I ambushed them outside the studio, and then they told me to leave, or they would call the police. <laughs> uh, and I went, I went across the street at the Seven Eleven and started uh, like doing dances and shit. Uh, and then finally, I left there too. But uh, oh wow. Yeah, yeah, it was very old. exciting. What do you think would have happened if you and Nick had done that show together? Like, what, Honestly, what would have the ambush you know, even been about? I, you know, I don't understand when I sit here and think about it. I, I mean, it was still their home field advantage, they had every opportunity to bury me basically and to make a lot of money, um, and to have a big event. I, I mean, from my perspective as a host, I don't see why, like, I couldn't imagine having. A full, you know, I have my home studio and it's nice, but like a real, you know what I mean? A full TV studio basically and every advantage and you still lock me out. You still have Rakeda in the second floor taking pictures like a cuck. And it's like, dude, I mean, I don't know. I would have let me in and I would have buried me, right? Like, I mean, I'm not saying take it easy. Uh, I, I don't know. I thought that that they gave me an opportunity to, to look good. Whereas if they would have let me in, um, it was all their advantage and, and they probably would have came out on top, honestly, because I mean, it would have been tough. It was just me, right? There was nobody else there. It was me against Elijah and Rakeda and that cuck fucking computer man they have over there. Now, you hear me? Brandon Steele. Yeah. I don't know. His producer. Name. Okay. I don't know his name, but yeah, you know, I'm talking <laughs> You know exactly, like, what I'm man. Cuck yeah, yeah, yeah. like man. Yeah, cuck man over there in the corner. Yeah, the only reason I say that is because he was talking shit about me randomly. I was like, I don't even know this guy. What do you uh, mean? Like on? Oh, I don't media? know. I just said some shit, and he was. Oh, okay. I, mean, I don't blame him really. I mean, you know, that's how he gets paid. Whatever. I don't. I don't blame him. I don't blame him really. But yeah, I mean, I don't understand. I I think that they should have let me in, and it would have been more content for them. Um, and I don't really know why they why they didn't uh, other than maybe Elijah didn't want to face that or maybe blaze, you know, themselves said, Hey, this thing could get out of hand. Right. We don't want to have this in our studios. Did you prior to this, did you, it sounds like you were cooler with, with Sydney than Elijah, or do you feel like you had, well, the funny thing is I've never actually talked to Sydney uh, in person um, or in DMS. Even Um, I have some mutual friends, um, but I mean, if you're asking me, um, even, even so, uh, <laughs> I would think I would get along with Sydney a lot, a lot better. Yeah. So which of them booked you? So Elijah's the one that booked me. Okay. That's the thing. So Elijah's the one that booked all this. He's the one who planned the ambush with the Rakeda. And then they tried to throw Sydney out there as the sacrificial lamb. And Rakeda actually released DMs acting like it was her behind it. And then I got word that she had nothing to do with it. And that, you know, that word was, you know, they wanted to get that word to me. Right. Uh, And so I didn't speak to them directly, um, but got the, that word from a reputable source. So it's basically Rakeda and Elijah kind of threw her out there um, as, oh, yeah, of course it was planned. Of course I was going to be there. Of course you knew. Well, no, nobody knew. Like, it was just a complete fiction. From but the here's start. what I'm wondering. Like, okay, so you and Nick had this prior, like, relationship. You maybe worked together. Uh, like, yeah. maybe he was helping you with, like, legal stuff. Like, what did they think? Like, did they think that that, which seems like an inside story. Did they think that that would be, like, in, you know what I mean? The Blaze, they had a huge audience. Like, that seems like a very specific insidery situation. Like, I don't understand why they thought that would be an interesting thing to. Well, the thing about it is, like, that was, especially at the time, their show was kind of on the on the rise. Yeah, they got a lot of heat after Rittenhouse right. and, of course, the Jack well, Murphy stuff. Yeah. I think the Jack Murphy thing, um, you know, if it was me, like, that's 
a scoop of a lifetime, right? Uh, but I think if you look at the dynamics of their show, that actually was the beginning of the end of their show because the personality, like, if you watch how Elijah reacted afterwards, and, like, we all know it is this great drama moment, but if you go back and watch the footage like I did yesterday, uh, Elijah doesn't say anything. He just lets her get dogged out. You know what I mean? People did so seem to be upset. Like, yeah. some people definitely thought that he should have, yeah, I don't know, stood up for her more in the moment, or maybe he was in shock. Maybe he didn't know what the hell to do. Cause, well, yeah, well, it was surprising. you know what? I agree with you there, too. And, and again, as a host, <laughs> it's true. Like, uh, like if it were me, I would, I would have had to, I would have been like, wait, whoa, like, what's, with, I would have been like, what's with this tone? You really sound upset. Like, what's behind this? I would have really tried to dig in a little bit. Well, it was just so gobs smacking like i mean you had to to me you have to stop the show and just like address that because yeah. it's so yeah. struggling. it's an um, uh, it's a weird response yeah it, it's 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 really tough um but again i had no like personal uh dealings with her um i just think um and from what i heard from several other people they already had like a lot of creative differences in terms of where they wanted to go with the show and stuff. Uh, and I think that was just one more, yeah. one more thing. I wish I could take all the credit, um, but I don't think that that's the case. Some people think like it, you know, it was an accident. She didn't mean to read off, you know, two similar yeah, chats. Believe. Some people believe yeah. that she did it on purpose because she you know knew what? and wanted to get this out of him. But we looked, we looked at the footage again yesterday and she has, like the most devilish smirks uh, during some of her reads when she hits Jack Murphy um, that I don't know, man. It's just, hmm. if she didn't know it's perfect. If she didn't know it's absolutely perfect. <laughs> it's like just the Cheshire grin that she has at certain points. It's like, I don't know. Maybe she didn't know, but. Maybe she was grinning because it was like a silly thing to, I mean, sure. you're reading something about cucks, which is kind of like a, a you know, something that might make someone laugh but yeah it was it was definitely a crazy situation it was yeah oh yeah uh, uh, and then i liked i liked i mean i was like briefly talking with jack because he had done my show and uh i really wanted to go through all the memes with him and he did not want to do that and <laughs> but he made sure to like clarify like that the dildo was against not in his butthole so well, I started, yeah. I started saying I can't, not inside. <laughs> like, well, that's the least of his problems. Look, um, <laughs> you know, if you if you listen to uh, some of the audio, that that would be the absolute least of his problems. And he, and he also, first off, he he basically said he was you know doing gay, fully gay stuff. Uh, but he also said that uh, he would send his woman out to get done up by another male, and then when she came back. He said this on audio, by the way, that he would piss on her in the front of his house. To show some sort of dominance. It was part of a reclaiming ceremony. Yeah. A reclaiming. A reclaiming <laughs> ceremony in the front of the house. Yeah. Yeah. I was this, like, if you're going to pee on me, please do it in private. Like, right. I, exactly. At least have some respect for the female and do it in private. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, um, I don't understand. I've said this a million times on my show. I don't know how he thought he could get away with that. Like that was always going to come out. I feel like a person, and I talked. I have friends in all types of adult film star, from amateur to professional. And like the more I think about it, I'm like, you don't, you don't like have videos of yourself out there like that, unless it was like completely deleted and and like what what is it called the uh, the memory box of the internet, the way back machine. Wait. Unless it was all all gone and somebody this the way back machine just fucked you over. That this is the only circumstance. If it wasn't such, if anything was currently up and you have the so same beard, you have the same beard from your porn days as you do in your conservative, you know, well, interviewer. That's to me is like you get off on the on the chance that you might yeah. be caught. Like the, the part of the kink is is possibly being caught. I think that's true. And then also it's not like just something bubbled up and you know, whatever. Uh some footage came out, what have you. Um, this guy was maintaining a full career, right? Like he <laughs> had like a parallel career going on. 
Um, and I think I think you're right. I think some of it was like a sexual thrill, like getting away with it, right? Um, that that was part of the part of the gimmick. Yeah. Is it like voyeuristic or whatever yeah. being watched? Yeah, yeah. He was like, uh, oh, just barely getting away with it. Yeah. Okay, more super chats that I won't understand the context of. Ghost of Speedy, uh, Adrian Bilar one. I don't know who that is. Okay. Sounds familiar. Sorry, Ghost. Uh, goes to Speedy again. Shout out to all the deadbeat dads, right, Ralph? Oh, that's not nice. Shout out. Thank you. I appreciate that. Do you know my dad didn't even care that I was on Gutfeld? I was like, I did like, I was not going to tell people, <laughs> but I did a little small family text. No. And, uh, hey. Oh, no, just didn't respond at all. You said, call me when you're on Tucker. And didn't, that's re didn't respond at all. And uh, my <laughs> sister was like, your hair looks nice. And I was like, all right, I guess I'm done texting you people. <laughs> um, from Coast. Look, it's a rapping oh. rage pig on my screen. Suey. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm going to just roll through these. Robbie don't care. Ask about poop eating. We already covered that. I think we did, right? Uh, re re-upload boy ask him about adrian blair one very that? interesting stuff to talk about there do you know who that is i don't know who this is no i'm not sure who that is okay uh ryan i got convicted of revenge porn i'm a uh, plump bad wow you uh didn't have as good a lawyer as i did i guess because <laughs> michael fine what's clp is that i don't know what clp is but that looks like a lot thank you chrissy you are truly a masturbator. Thank you. I haven't done it in a while. Uh, I've been busy. K Max. Oh, K Max. Yes. Of, K -Max. Channel. Up, For Ethan, your favorite wrestling character of all time, would it be Ric Flair? I think pro wrestling and content creators have a lot in common. Comedians also. So I have, uh, yes, Ric Flair would definitely be one. Uh, Jerry Lawler um, from Memphis, the, the king of Memphis, Jerry Lawler. Um, I, I Stone Cold, I would say. Um, Steve, Steve Austin, as I mentioned, um, I'm trying to think, um, the rock, yeah. uh, Roddy Piper, even in his territory days, Roddy Piper was a, was a badass character. Um, the mid Atlantic, just that whole era is pretty ace too. I used to get, I wasn't into wrestling, but I was very into the wrestling ice cream from the good humor truck. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. it would be like the. It was like cookie on one side, ice cream in the middle, and then like a chocolate coating. Yeah. And then on the cookie would be like a poorly printed out wrestler with their name underneath. And that's like, that's my only, that those were really good. And I miss them. Matthew so Perkins, ugh, Rage Pig is a Yankees fan because of course, a lot of people, I like the Yankees. I'm not actually, um, but I got this hat at Yankee Stadium. Uh, and so not a Yankees fan, but uh, bought the hat at Yankee Stadium. So I'll, I'll give myself a pass. He's a fan of hats. Ryan, Nick Rakita is going to have footage for weeks. Well, mm, I don't know. It's just it's just two gals catching up. Ice Mexican. I'm under huge attack. This degenerate gun literally targeted Lauren's children, Jim's wife, Andy's sister, Quartering's wife, Nick's family, etc. What's is this true? I don't know. It seems like he's got a whole. A whole tell, tale to tell there. I mean, I don't know. I guess have him call in, but uh, uh, I have, we have. I wish we had a phone number. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have him call in if he if he call wants. in, call uh, in, Ice Mexican. Yeah, I don't know. Or um, do we send links out to people? I guess we could if it was very compelling. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we have the ability for phone calls yet. Um, I'm sure. Let's there's get a, thing a phone. How much is a phone? <laughs> like a landline i think they give them away for free now yes let's get a landline how retro what's up, Ethan? What's up man you guys have met right or no no we've oh. chatted though oh yeah we chatted but yeah not personally no okay michael pine ralph thinks he's the showman but he's actually the freak i disagree with this I get paid either way. That's the thing. I really don't care. Um, that's the uh, that's the other thing. I make more money than you do, and you're a wage slave. Mm -hmm. And you go to work every day, and you hate your life. And I do whatever the fuck I want to do on this fucking planet Earth. And you're a bitch. <laughs> Daryl Williams, Suey, holla for me, Rage Pig. All right, some of these are not clever. Um, Pony Panda, uh, women sense my power and they seek the life essence. I do not avoid women, but I do deny them my essence. Sounds like an incel. Trench, Chrissy, how do you feel about watching someone's revenge porn and commenting on it on a live stream? Hello, Trench. Um, 
well, first of all, when I was watching it, I did not, I didn't know that it was revenge porn. I watched tons of sex tapes and videos and all sorts of porn. So it wasn't that big a deal for me. I apologize on the air for watching it. And I wasn't streaming it to the show. I would, I would not do that. I mean, compound media is like one thing because it's all, it's like a paywall, but, um, uh and commenting on it no i think what i said was like kind of funny and cute and i made light of it so i feel okay about it certain people said you should apologize and that you should you should be ashamed for apologize it. for watching it i mean i, I don't know i didn't say i didn't say anything about it i'm just saying that uh certain folks said that just... oh no i watch tons of stuff right, okay. it's not my i mean like unless it was like something involving kids uh, you know what I mean? Like watching regular adults do what they do. No big deal. I don't care either way. I don't, yeah, it doesn't bother Heartfelt. Okay. Oh, heartfelt. Got it. Etsy D's. I will always be grateful that Ethan will be unable to beat his own. Oh, Jesus. Son, just like Ronnie used to beat him. It's a shame that we can't. I don't know anything about this. Do you comment on this? No. Yes. That's my father who died a couple <laughs> years ago. And then that's oh. my daughter who was born a couple months ago. Damn. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Devoted fans out there who can also suck my cock. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I wish there was a way that you could see these two and like you could tell me not to read certain ones. Um, Maddened Moose, is there an AVN category for revenge porn? Oh, that would be actually pretty Maybe. neat. I'm sh yeah, that would be the only way. Ralph wins. I actually had a guy. At least two guys I've dated have like taken videos of us having sex and and like not deleted them after we broke up. Is that? So, and again, without commenting on anything I've ever like, done. Like I had an ex show. Like we broke up. Years went by. We became acquainted again, and then would randomly send me like nude photos of myself <laughs> from when we were dating. That's totally from years ago. And I was like, "Why the fuck do you still have these?" And I'm like, "Of course you do. I look amazing." <laughs> Uh, or I looked amazing at the time. Wait, should you have to delete the like? I I don't know. Like, first off, <laughs> yeah, you should. Uh, but guy, I know how. I mean, should, guys are guys. A legal, a legal requirement. This is a ridiculous feminist excursion in the law. If you want to know the truth about it, and revenge porn is a joke, and the whole fucking area of the law is a joke. And if you agree to something being filmed, and you let somebody else film it. They should own the rights to that fucking footage forever. That's what I actually think. If you want to know the truth about it, all you fucking ladies out there, that's what I think. So, right. There yeah. was a time that an ex didn't tell me that he was filming me and, and filmed well, us. You know what? You shouldn't have let him film you. Well, no. I had no idea. I had yeah, no yeah, idea. Like I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or something like that. If, if, if they're doing it surreptitiously, that's one thing, yeah. right? It's like okay. it's like egregious, like hidden camera, candy camera type shit. That's yeah. Not, but but uh, that was a long time ago, and he's like, he, I know that he's miserable now, so I feel okay about that's it. That's what um, I actually think, and I don't really give a fuck what any of these fucking marks in the audience give up. Like if they if they cry about it, if they want to send you super chats crying about it, that's what I actually think. I think it's I fucking think that's, bullshit. I think that's what a lot of these super chats one are. More example <laughs> in the war on men, if you want to know the truth. It's there is a war on men going on, that's for sure. Ask the rage pig why he cries about people talking about his kids when he talked cramp about Nick Ricada's kids and wife thinks. I didn't say anything about his kids. I said his wife was a hoe. I did say some things like that, but he talks shit about my woman too, so it doesn't matter. I'll say whatever I want. Do you think you're you think like once somebody I mean, does right. it to you? I'm not saying it's right, but like do you think the things said about me tonight are right? either right like they're not um, like this whole thing is not right <laughs> you know I mean? like all this shit going back and forth is so not much right. isn't right <laughs> yeah right like yeah. so i'm not gonna sit here and defend every word a lot of shit i said is fucked up i'm i'm don't deny that whatsoever but guess what ricada said a lot of fucked up shit too and a lot of fucked up shit about my fucking family and woman and et cetera, et cetera. And again, I don't have to sit here um, and like try to put on a certain persona because I think be on bother you? I'm never going to be there and I don't give a fuck and I'm yeah. just going to be real. Like I talk that shit. Does it bother you? Like, and I have no idea what he said or even like what this is about, but like were the things he said 
Oh, shit. I hit did that. Did it bother you because the things he was saying were true? Or did it bother you because he was making up stuff? Or just because he was talking about people in your life in general? Like, in what in which instance? Do like, you did it bother you because Are he you was saying when... things that were true? Or just oh. was he making stuff up? Nick. Well, no. I mean, so um, the thing that bothered me on uh are you were here like the thing that he said about me like his whole spiel some of it was not true um but the thing that bothered me was like not the untruthfulness of it it was like oh this guy just got a you know a full free run at me and i had no response to it whatsoever and i know this fucker elijah schaefer i know sydney watson i know all these people and he gets a free run at me on their show and i don't get any type of response so i said something on twitter not really thinking that they were going to have me on right it's just one of those things where oh, okay i'm going to talk my shit on twitter and then elijah goes yeah sure we'll have you on just pick your day and then i pick my day well it turns out oh it's an amb like it was an ambush session like that's that's how mm -hmm. that went it, it wasn't about um the truthfulness of it although yeah he has said a lot of lies about me they've spread a false rape accusation about me uh etc cetera, etc cetera. i can just go on through the list attack my dead family just it, it never ends if you want to know the truth about it but uh it's it's not about crying about that um it's just saying that like these people are on the same playing field right mm -hmm. like the whole idea that they're uh, immune or better than me it's not true they they engage in the nastiest tactics every single fucking day and that's the fact. Damn, that sucks. Can oh, I ask a question? Cabinet. Hello. Um, Ethan, would you ever try and make peace or have a conversation or debate with someone like Nick or Lauren Southern to kind of bury the hatchet one way or the um, other? Yeah, in theory. Um, in theory, I've I've buried the hatchet with, with you know a lot of people. Um, but, I mean, it would have to be like a an honest play. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't just run into something like that, right? Um, well, here's Nick Rakia. No, oh, God. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm, kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but, you know, and I said this the other day. Um, I don't know. I got um, actually somebody was talking about Elijah Schaefer, and I really don't have any long term beef with him, right? It was just something that he was basically involved with something with Rakeda trying to fuck with me. And I have nothing like I did talk shit about him, but I have nothing long term there. Now, Rakeda. It's a little bit different because I knew him for years before. Um, but no, I wouldn't I wouldn't be opposed to something like that. It's hard to see it happening, uh, to be honest. But uh, I, I wouldn't be opposed uh, to making peace where I could. Um, it, it seems unlikely, uh, I, I would say. <laughs> Someone so. called you a drawer, Frank. <laughs> well, in this avatar, I have three of them. So there is a roar. Dude, that's I great. think it would be great. I if thought it, they were talking if, about me at first, and I was like, what "Oh, is that? that's a roar. That's like oh, a damn. news. Wow, that's, that's, that's like <laughs> me to the core. I was like, "Wow, that's so big brain. I don't even know what it means." And then I looked at his <laughs> picture. Drawer. Ethan is doing a filing cabinet cosplay with that pink shirt. <laughs> oh yeah. But um, I will say, sometimes it does get. Uh, believe it or not, um, it gets old. Uh, just fighting all the time, everybody. That is something that gets old. Um, you know, I feel like I, you know, I have to be true to myself. I have to stand up for myself. Uh, on the same hand, <laughs> by the same token, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be opposed if it made sense uh, to squash things with with certain folks here and there. Yeah, dude, but, I think it. It's. Well. I think it makes sense to to try at this point. There's so much other bullshit going on politically right now you know True. i think everyone's better off being as close to allies as possible rather than just feuding here and there like we didn't know 90 percent of the beef uh we hear yeah. drips and draps like most of these super chats you know they're making funny it but we don't understand the context sure for most of it so it's like i don't know dude i, I think you might be best off like whichever one is the easiest to kind of yeah keep away at whether it's a lauren or a rakita or whoever the hell else there is you know so like i you know again i i don't necessarily disagree that like when you're fighting with everybody but on the other hand like what is the answer like what i'm gonna go ahead and hand? i feel yeah. like you don't want to make the first move like well, you don't want to be the the reacher outer to 
the smoother outer. You don't want to be the the person who, you know, you want you want well, them to reach out. Well, why would like, I want to be? Would you want to be? Like, I mean, what what are you? you, you like, so, if like, I I guess if I uh, that's the thing is like if you feel like you were wronged, and like well, the, the person I mean, wronged you, that they should reach out. But if it's more like we're not sure who started it, uh, I would well, have more to gain I'll from being this, cool with this person. I'll say this: even some people. So I do feel like I was wrong actually in the in the situation we're talking about with Rakeda. But um, I, I will I will say that. Um, um, you know, you say some incendiary things, right? At least I do. Um, that she, I probably wouldn't say that in real life. Uh, but this guy's coming at me online. I feel like, you know, he's using every angle he can. Well, I'm going to say whatever I can too. Right. Uh, and some of those things, um, are, might be out of bounds. Uh, I think that that's mm -hmm. fair to say, but I, I, you know, you can go through and look through some things he said about, you know, my fiance, the mother of my child saying he wouldn't let her watch his kids and taking pot shots at her. But when he saw us in person, he was like, Oh, I love you. Like he was the first guy to walk up and try to give her a hug. That's the type of fake shit that I don't fucking respect. Uh, and so I don't know. You can say that I've said a lot of fucking fucked up shit. It's true. Um, but like this whole game is fucked up. Like, I don't know. Like this internet game. Yeah. Like, I mean, you've seen the super chats. They're bringing my dead father into it. They're bringing my dead mother into it. My daughter who's a month and a half old. And again, it's not, it's not crying about it. I signed up for this, but that's the field that we're playing on. Right. Like, I mean, I don't know. That's, yeah. that's one of my thoughts on it. Luckily she's one and a half and she hasn't figured out YouTube yet. Well, yeah, she's not even one and a half. She is oh. March 23rd. Now, my son is about to be one, uh, right. and she is going to be, uh, what, March 23rd? So, what, I guess she'll be uh, like a March 23rd. Little... That's an Aries or a Taurus. Okay. I don't know, actually. Um, March 23rd, I think, is Aries. March 23rd is Aries, yeah. yeah I think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. and well, Ra oh, God. Ralph docks people's family, runs with an actual cult was charged with revenge porn he's lost every friend he had and much worse wow. i'd read into Holy it shit, that guy sounds base he's a cult a cult leader or just a cult lieutenant i don't know runs uh, a cult I'll, if I'll you ran a cult what would it be called runs with a cult um oh runs with a cult runs with a cult runs with um, a cult sounds like a native american name it does I don't know. I'd have to runs with <laughs> cult. Yeah. I have to think on the branding, but it's pretty sick. That sounds cool. Okay. Rag muffin. This whole chat is full of fake CG LARPs. Oh, co comic skate. Computer yeah. graphics. Oh, CG. Okay. <laughs> Arc light. Why did you stump that guy at Guntapalooza? Ralph? Isn't that assault? I don't know what he's talking about. I heard that guy had a had a stumble with the security, he fell and hit his head, and I think he had uh, I think he had some injuries or whatever. But uh, didn't hear anything from the authorities. Uh, I think that's uh, some more fake news. Okay, uh, Senator Invict. Oh, Ethan Ralph is why my <laughs> is why my body doesn't work. No! Oh my god! How did you do that, Crip Daddy? No. Not a trip, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Crip, um, I can't wait for our show on the 27th. It's going to be gonna fucking be, awesome. Where's that going to be, by the way? I heard you talking Mc, about that. Uh, right McHenry at the Vixen. Like, what state, though? Like, I don't know. Uh, Illinois. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's going to be like an hour outside of Chicago, Friday, May 27th at the Vixen. Very and cool. Is that a casino? Henry, or like, what's going on there? It like, is a, I think it's a performance venue, music, uh, comedy, all things. I've never so, been. I hope it's good. School cool. and uh, Crypt Daddy will be there. Uh, Invictus Ralph, will you make the loyalty pledge to Nick Fuentes? Other cozy streamers like Beardstorm, Beardson, and Dalton. The answer are is I don't make loyalty pledges for faggots who send in super chats. That's the answer. <laughs> uh, so send me a personal 100 super dollar $100 super chat. And I'll oh, okay. Okay, okay. Mo Diggity Suey. Okay, it's more pig stuff. Michael Pine Murphy should have just should just buy her Amazon wish list. 
Yes, that's always good. Yeah, I heard that before. I heard a lot of fake news concerning that too. To one hundred and ten dollars turns into two thousand dollars, but I won't go into that. I won't go into that. Either. What do you mean? <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. I've heard a lot. Of, I've heard a lot of things. A lot of uh, fake stories about uh, Amazon wish lists and and stuff like that. I have an Amazon wish list. Is what's wrong with that? Yeah, but nobody ever sends me anything from it. Nothing. If you get something out of it, I got something out of my purchases. So, Chrissy, uh, we were informed that your Amazon wish list uh, does not get sent to any address. Oh. So you actually wow. have to fix it or adjust it or something. All right. It's mostly books. It's not like anything sexy. It's like books about the New World Order and fucking like <laughs> <laughs> all like old world's fairs and shit like that um all right ralph mayor ralph a male wins again haters see then cope wow that could be a fan of yours probably is who knows they're all fans of mine that's the thing chrissy they're all fans of mine i they feel like you are on me that's what you don't get like yes they they're all my fans even the haters are my fan they're actually my biggest fans that's so important to remember i have to keep that in mind with my own haters because i'm like if I suck so much, why are you back? Like, why are you here? Because <laughs> so. everybody else is boring as fuck. Of course they're here, right? Where else are they going to go? <laughs> uh, Mr. K is saying well, I am gun guarding. Chris. Gun guarding. You know what? I can't have anything else to do with you. You're gun guarding now. What? What did that even look like? Yo, gun guard is a hilarious title. <laughs> it's, it's like a lifeguard. It's a great which title. I was. I was a lifeguard. I know CPR. Oh yeah, you know uh, what? She's really gun guarding. Oh my god! By the way, <laughs> I just saw somebody send in the pledge. What? I just saw somebody send in the um, the pledge there. Anyway. Oh. Go. Oh my god! Give this to Ralph, oh, please. What the was pledge. the pledge? What was the exact pledge I was supposed to say? Hold on. No, I forgot. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. I don't know anything about Nick Fuentes, so. Uh, oh, you mean the pledge for Nick? Oh, no, I'm not taking that pledge. I don't take pledges to... Oh, no, but he just sent it. Oh, no. But you got All right. Order, so cool. Thanks, Argon. Yeah. Damn, thanks, Argon. Argon made a mistake. Uh, Ralph Ethan clearly said you have to send a personal super chat to Ethan. Oh. Yeah, yeah that that money goes to Chrissy. Yeah. Which... What you send to Chrissy? I mean, I'm glad she got the $100. But... Does Chrissy need to do a, a pledge then or something? Uh, what do, yeah, I'll do a pledge. What should I do? Name cereals? It's Nick Fuentes. I think that's what you should do. All I know about him is that people have said that he might be gay. Uh, someone says, why haven't you had Nick, haven't you had Fuentes on? Come on. I mean, I would. Sure. Why not? Okay. I, don't know that he, I don't think he's aware of me. I don't know how to get in touch with him, but I would I would definitely talk to him. I mean, I could get in touch for him if you want me to. Oh, okay. All right. I wonder, I wonder if I would get put on the. I'm already on the YouTube naughty list. Who am I kidding? Ice oh, Mexican, dear Chrissy, you are a truly beautiful soul for hosting this washed up. No, has been no, with the no. grace you have. To, oh, Ice Mexican. Oh, thank come you. On. I just had a new daughter. I appreciate you helping feed my family, Chrissy. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I there was the reason I brought you on back in the day. Thank you. Uh -huh. How did you find me? <laughs> you know what? That's a good question. Uh, and I can't remember now. I think it was Twitter, honestly. Uh, mm -hmm. And I saw you and I, you know, not to toot my own horn, like I said earlier. Toot it. Toot but it. I have an eye for talent. Uh, <laughs> and I like Chrissy. Uh, and I was like, hey, you know, I thought I was getting over when she said she would come on my show. Uh, and then uh, not long after that, of course, she was working like insanely hard on her own to do her own show. And get it was you, out. Ralph. It was nah, you. It was all me. It was all me. <laughs> um, but uh, in all honesty, she's one of those people who um, I'm not trying to take credit at all. I know that's what the haters are saying or whatever. Uh, but it's like one of those people you see come come up on your show and then you see later on uh you know they're on tim pool they're on this and that and they're doing all these things i don't say, that's not a negative thing that's a cool thing aaron berg is another guy uh from compound media he he came on the show yeah. uh and then he's on all these other shows um i'm, I'm trying to think of an uh, of another one archer Pulaski, he came on our stuff <gasps> earlier. i love yeah. him yeah so he's like fun. yeah just Space. people like that i don't know I, I think it's a cool thing and i look at it um is like a, an awesome fucking thing, right? Um, when I see people who, who've come on my show and then go on to greater things, so. Yeah. 
Um, Scarebro, didn't you claim that if there were no consequences, you would gun down Nick Ricada, Andy Warski, Mr. Meteor, and your former best friend? That's not what I said, actually. What I said was I wouldn't feel bad about killing those people. <laughs> Why would you say that? Well, I mean, that's just true. Like, so, like, is that a... I don't think that that's really that crazy of a statement. Um, like, if it's, if it's like, an, a real enemy of yours, and you're like, well... Um, would I really feel bad if that person got hit by a bus or, uh, I don't know. I have people that are enemies. I would never, wouldn't feel bad. Like, I mean, no, I, I, I wouldn't wish death on somebody. I would, I would wish like media, like mediocrity on them. Well, I don't know. I went on that rant. Uh, and then they're like, wow, sitting with gun down. I didn't say any of that. I said, I, you know, it wouldn't You're break my heart. Colorful. Yeah. It wouldn't break my heart. Okay. Arc light. What is the maximum amount of breasts a person should have? I think two. I don't know. Two? I think it's a, yeah, if you're yeah, I think two. Huh? Trench Ralph slams the clout horse the same day he finds out his child bride is pregnant, then telling the child bride he understands if she aborts. This seems I don't know who those people are. This seems okay. like some Okay. Personal fan fiction that he has with his fan fiction again. Okay, mm -hmm. Ralph, your show was actually pretty good when you were sober. Just saying, you seem Thank sober you. now. Well, that's I am, but that's pretty rare, by the way. I don't think that that's true. I don't think he really saw much kill stream when I was sober because <laughs> because I was completely drunk from about twenty eighteen through twenty twenty. So, uh, what do you like to drink? Have you ever had a high noon? I have. Like, I noon. still think that Trulies are better. Yeah, I have, <laughs> I have had that. Um, I used to drink vodka. Now, I'm now more of a bourbon guy. Um, but um, I, I would say those two. Bourbon more nowadays. Um, but that, I drink a lot less, I guess, is what I was trying to get at <laughs> than the uh, 2018, 2019 era of the kill stream. I was pretty much drunk that whole time. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Ash oh Ashton, what's up, Ashton? Uh please be nice to Lauren. She's cool. Yeah. You gotta listen to Ashton. Yeah. I'm gonna facilitate this makeup. Mr. Brightside, Ralph, I would love to die in the ring. Also, Ralph, trying his best not to fight Andy. At least when you get beat up, uh, you'll be paid, unlike Portugal. Well, we'll see. I don't know what I'll be paid. I haven't seen any offers or heard anything. I know Keemstar is talking about doing a stream uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. I guess we'll probably do that tomorrow or Thursday, maybe. Um, I know Worski was talking about Jarbo hosting it. That's not happening, obviously. Uh, I won't be participating in anything that Matt Jarbo is involved with, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully we can do a stream in a couple days and maybe figure something out. doesn't necessarily have to be on stream for me either. I kind of see that as a, as a spectacle, but um, yeah, I'm Isn't down that boxing that. or just like MMA. I think it's just boxing is what we've been talking about. Um, or like a slap fight. I could do that. Yeah. A slap fight. I'm down for that. Uh, Coast, be honest, Ralph. No one is talking negatively about Faith or either of your kids or even Ronnie. They are talking bad about you and your horse. I mean, that's just not true. Uh, they talk bad about my family every day. They wish me dead every day, including you, faggot. So um, that's what I think. Oh, my gosh. Horrible. You guys. I, that's why I say faggot very loud. Here on YouTube, if they want to get their super chats in, I'll get my, I'll get my super chats in. Faggot. That's your, that's your super chat. Okay. Faggot. Faggot. Take it up the ass. Faggots. That's what I'll say. I'll keep saying it again. I might okay. say another word here in a minute. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, I'm just letting you know. Okay. Pepsi Man. Nick Rikita yeah. hasn't said anything about your family. Okay. These are like, uh, why do you block everyone on Twitter? You haven't blocked me yet. Sure. Not yet. Uh, Pepsi Man, Medicare will well, outlive cancer, aka Ralph, die mad. Was this a friend of yours, this Metocur? I don't know. I think he's got cancer. I hope he does soon. Oh, no. That's Are you tough. kidding? Or no? No, I can't no, tell. no. I'm not kidding. No. Okay. Uh, Ralph is legit a bad person. He won't help the right. What would he, what would, Will, what would you want him to do? Uh, to I don't know. Right? Seems worse to this guy. He won't help the riot. He won't help us on the libs. Kill yourself, bitch. In Minecraft. Uh, Coast says Gator found you, Chrissy, not Ralph. 
That's not true. But. Who's Gator? Send Senator. Who's Gator? Invictus. You said it all right there. <laughs> Senator Invictus Ralph, if you take the pledge, Nick Fuentes will give you back the cozy view multiplier. Yeah, you can oh. pledge these nuts in your mouth. That's just, <laughs> okay, Max. Did Ralph hear about the Sarah J? <laughs> the Sarah J story with Chrissy seems porn stars are more woke than actresses. Their politics. Is I didn't hear about that. No, actually, no. Well, I feel like, uh, you know, it's a long story. Uh, no one's really interested. No, she <laughs> she came on my show on Wet Spot, and uh, then Gino called in and said the N word a bunch of times. But he sent it. He said it to Kevin Brennan because Kevin Brennan had come in. Uh, it was a zoo of a show. There were like a lot of guests. Um, but but Gina was trying to make Kevin Brennan feel uncomfortable or laugh or whatever by saying it, you know, one, 10, 20 times, whatever. He said it a few times. So Sarah J got offended at hearing the N word and walked off the show. And then we later discovered that in her porn, she does a lot of like interracial porn where she shouts the N word at the guy she's who's plowing her. And I was like, well, this makes you look kind of like a hypocrite, doesn't it? And then we later found that when she was at the Chicago um, Exotica, a guy came up to her and was just like talking to her. Um, Cause these are, these are events where you're supposed to meet the fans. That's like the right. whole point. And then, and then Sarah turns around like, that'll be $20 for this video that we took just now. <laughs> Crazy. That's like, the so, so yeah. After the fact, didn't say in advance, like to me, that's like pretty classless, but um. Yeah, so that was the whole story. Right. Anyway, I just think that's pretty hypocritical, like what you can say in your porn, but you can't be on a show where a guy is saying it to another guy. She probably got paid well, probably for that. Uh, I don't know. Porn, so it was it. annoying. It was annoying. Um, YouTube user, epic donation scam moment. Do the pledge. No. No. <laughs> can I do a pledge? Okay. Uh, Medicare told Ralph they're not friends, and Ralph cried. It's just more fan fiction. More fan fiction. Nighthawk, not true. Okay, we're almost done, Ralph. Uh, I'd be happy to host the stream. I hypocrite cog. The list goes on, Ralph, setting up a sanction really, fight next time. The answer is no. I, I'm not going to do anything with Polyfrog64. I'm not going to do anything with Cog. I may do something with I hypocrite. Uh, that's somebody I would think that would be in the favored nation status. Somebody like Dick Masterson. Uh, somebody like that, somebody like you, faggot. No, uh, you're not involved. You're out. Somebody like Matt Jarbo, you're out. Uh, somebody like Cog, you're out. And Did you fight me? Why are you out? Why are you out? Because I said you're out. That's why. I don't need to have another reason. I don't like you, fucker. That's why you're out. Because I said you're out. Now, Chrissy, no. Somebody like you, uh, I would be amenable to uh, as a neutral host. But uh, people like that, no, because they're not neutral. That's why. Uh, and I don't like them. Okay. But you, no, not you. Uh, matter of fact, I saw somebody uh, suggest you, I think, earlier. Uh, wow. So I've you, taken I two Brittany. Krav Maga Groupon classes. That's it. Yeah, so you suggested Brittany, politically provoked. Dick was suggested. People like that. Uh, people like the names bandied about there. No, not a single one. Okay. Uh, Pepsi Man, how much money has Ralph given to his son that he left? Oh, sounds like you're trying to see him. I am actually. Hopefully that uh, that happens this summer. Um, just waiting on the the final codicil okay. to sign there. So thank you. Raw alerts. Raw alerts with the best super chat. Just saying nothing. That's great. <laughs> um, Arc light. Hey Ralph, what's it like getting felted by a pink anime rabbit? I don't know because I never saw. Just blocked the the fucking loser, and I really never watched anything they did. And what does felted mean? Because I saw that a couple times in the chat. What does it mean? When you get fucked up the ass, like Flamenco likes to do. I, I'm not sure. I, I I don't really know the whole terminology. I think maybe that's when you get fucked up the ass. No Vaseline. Perhaps the felt is like the noise. I, I don't know really, but uh, it's definitely fucked in the ass though. Something like what that. Yeah, it's, okay. it's ass fucking is definitely happening. Yeah. That's new. That's new to me. I'm yeah. learning a lot. I'm it's learning like, a lot of this stream. Like I don't know the terms. Okay. Coast Xander calls another man daddy. I don't know who that is. Kiranu pull up the pill stream clip where Ralph tells his mom to hitchhike in the summer heat to her dialysis appointment. <laughs> really? That's kind of funny. 
Yeah, well, I don't know uh, exactly what he means by the by the pillaging clip, but uh, why didn't he send it? Actually, he could have just. That's true. Yeah. All right, only two more. K Max does the online left feed. Is that funny? By the way, is that funny? The the idea is kind of funny that like. Any clips of your dead mom when you were arguing with her? Do you think that's funny? Do I have a clip of her? Yeah, do you have some clips where you were talking shit to your dead mom? Would you think it was funny if I was to pull that up? Maybe, depending on the clip. If it was I funny. You, I don't think you'd probably laugh if I was to pull that up and start talking about it. Take money. I just I don't have any clips. Money to sit here and talk about it. I don't think you would think that was too funny. I feel like I touched a nerve and I didn't mean to. I no, just I mean, think like just there you. aren't any clips. Yeah, hey, I'm just my... asking you if I had that clip and I pulled if it up you right had now, a clip of I my mom fucking dollars to pull that clip up. Would you think it was funny? It's a, if it was a funny clip, then if they pay me five fucking dollars. And they said, hey, Chrissy, here's your dead mom. Here's you talking shit to her. Would you think that's funny? Well, I, I've never talked shit I'm to her like you. I'm asking you a, a direct question. If such a clip existed. If if I had talked shit to my clip mom. It could exist. I think you probably talked a lot of shit to your mom, actually. Why would you think that? I mean, I have no reason to not think that. I think everybody probably has some unguarded moments with their family. Talk shit to her. I think you for no. sitting here laughing about that shit to my, to my face. That's what I think. I can't tell if you're joking or not. I'm not joking at all. I'm being dead okay. serious. Well, I don't. I also don't know if what that person sent was real or not. I was just okay, thinking well, the I'm idea of not, it is I'm funny. I'm not joking. I'm being real fucking serious right here live on air. Okay. What I thought, what I was saying was funny. It was the idea that you would tell some, like that a person would tell their mom to like, go into the sun like go out in the summer like i was just well, i'm telling you i sat here long enough for your faggot super chats is what i'm telling you and i didn't appreciate that last one i didn't appreciate your fucking faggot laughter and i'm really about done so what else do you have for me okay uh i, I wasn't trying to like make you upset I don't, I don't know i feel like we there's some confusion or no, there's no confusion. I'm I'm being real just direct with you. Okay. Like Okay. I think you're taking what I said like a little too seriously. Well, that's your opinion. I don't think so. I think that you thought, you know, it's all fun and games and it's all, you know, comedy routine. And I'm telling you it's not. I'm telling you, you sat here and you got personal one too many times, and I'm telling you, fuck you. That's what I'm saying live on air. I, I got personal? Yeah. How Me, did I get you. personal? Yeah, you, fucker. Yeah, you. How did I get personal? I don't know you personally like that. Right. So how dare you fucking say some shit like that to me on air? For but I wasn't. I was just reading a super chat. Okay. You're, well, you're, you're being Jack Murphy against Sydney. Watson. I don't Watson give a fuck. Right Shut up, cuck. I don't give a fuck, boyfriend. Get the fuck out of here. You're nobody. Shut the fuck up. What a charmer. What a charmer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I tell it how it is. I genuinely think there was a confusion here because like if I wanted to have you come on here just to like make fun of you, I, I would have done it right away. Like I literally just you and I are cool. We're having a conversation like I genuinely think that you maybe misheard something or thought I was trying to be shitty when I honestly wasn't. Well, that's your statement. I think I pretty much spoke for myself here. And so people can just take it how they want. Like. I do. I actually do have a story. So I did a roast battle with a girl and it was after my mom got diagnosed with cancer and she had this joke. Of course, it's a roast battle. Like all bets are off. People can say whatever they want. And this girl, Allison, she made a joke about my mom. It was like an open thing. Everyone knew she had like brain cancer. And she had this joke where I don't remember exactly, but the punchline was like, the, the tumor your mom made in her head was still like the best thing to ever come out of her body. Like it was, she was trying to compare like giving birth to me and this whatever. And in the moment I was like, man, that's fucking low. And it like, it made me feel horrible, but immediately the audience like wasn't having it and didn't laugh. And that was the thing that in the moment made me feel better. So if that is how I made you feel just now, I'm sorry. Like I literally you just see, I it. don't like I don't feel bad. I don't like you people. That's the thing. I don't like these motherfuckers. Like, take all the pot shots you want. 
it's fine with me because I don't like you. That's the thing. Like you can sit here and chuckle and give your little chuckle fuck response and all your faggot fucking super chats and all this shit talk. I can tell you that I don't fucking like you. I don't like these motherfuckers in the audience. And if they don't like me, God damn it. I fucking hate you. That's the fucking truth. And so I don't give a fuck. That's the thing. I'm beyond giving a fuck. Like, take whatever fucking pot shot you want. Work whatever five fucking dollar Judas super chat in that you want. And I'm going to tell you right where to fucking stick it. That's what I fucking think. So, again, whatever. Like, don't like it. Just clip it out. I want you to clip it. I know this is going to be clipped. I'm not hiding from anybody. I came on this show and it was right up to a certain degree. Yeah, no problem. You chuckling about my dead mom? Fuck you, bitch. That's Ethan, what I'm I'm not you. I'm not laughing. My oh, mom is I'm dead too. Laughing. Why oh, would no, I I'm not laughing. If you oh, genuinely oh, oh, if you yeah, genuinely oh, think, yeah, yeah, if you that's genu- what I think that's what I fucking think. That's dude, what I said. You don't, you don't have to like continue to be triggered right now cuz I'm talking to you I'm person to person. Is legit. Like I <laughs> You're triggered because you're continuing to be mad after I'm telling you, honestly, I wasn't trying to, like, make fun of your mom. My mom is dead, too. I literally just told you a story from a roast battle where something, like, hurt my feelings in the moment. Something, though. Now it's like, oh, well. No, because I didn't know that there was a misunderstanding. When I saw you react. You were laughing and chuckling? Like, what, you thought that was no big deal? Because I didn't think it was real. I thought it was just, like, like, how many of. fucking died a fucking year ago. Okay, I, just I don't a fucking tweet about that yesterday. I don't know. You, know, you didn't see anything about died. it. You didn't know shit about it. Me and you personally fucking talked about my mom fucking being dead, and you sat here on this fucking air and laughed about it. Ethan, I wasn't <laughs> laughing. Did my I just mom being imagine dead. that? That didn't happen. That really didn't happen the way I, you're thinking. Okay, it did. okay, okay. Well, you know what? Go back and rerun the tape. I don't give a fuck. I'm beyond giving a fuck. I know. I just genuinely think there was a misunderstanding. And I'm trying because I don't want you to feel like I was. Just go back and listen to it. Anybody listening to me now, just go back and rerun it. Of course, you can see songs with how I reacted after. But go back and listen to it. Can I honestly ask a question? Do you think I am someone, from what you know about me, that would genuinely laugh at your mom being dead and mean it? wholeheartedly in a shitty way i don't think you would do that um go out of your way to do that i think you will obviously sit here and chuckle fuck to a super chat which is what you just did uh and you did like fucking 30 of them in a row so it's like okay i've already sat here for fucking way more than i should have already sat here and now you're taking shots at my fucking mom and sitting here laughing i'm not about- taking shots okay, well, that's what i fucking heard so you know again Whatever. Like, I, say what you want. I don't give a fuck. Clip this out. All these faggots. Oh, I'm, I hope, gonna, I'm not going to clip this. You need off it for a month. I can tell you what. I'll be right back at it tomorrow just doing my regular show. Because I don't give a fuck. Ethan, I'm, I didn't have you on to, to clip you up and make you look away. I, I honestly just wanted you on to talk. And I... And I I feel the same way when I did when I said at the beginning, I feel like you're very misunderstood. And I was just trying to say, hey, I don't understand like why there are all these beefs. And I just wanted to go through it. And yeah, it was a lot of super yeah, chats, so I can understand, understand. I think. What do you mean? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just let that stand, I guess, is my word. But uh, do you really want me to go into it? I mean, I I, I stand by everything I said. Okay. What is it you want me to say exactly? I'm not going to apologize for telling you to fuck off if that's what you're after. No, I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to explain. I wanted you to understand that I was not. Uh... I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't even matter to me. Okay. Because it seems like it does because you're upset. It doesn't matter now, regardless. Okay. Do, does it make more, like, do you understand that I wasn't making Not fun of really. your mom? No, I think you were sitting here reading Chucklefuck Super Chats at me, and I didn't take one kindly, 
Because I don't take that kindly when they're talking about my dead mom and you're sitting here laughing. I understand that. And I I didn't laugh. I laughed because it was a funny idea. I didn't know that that was a real thing that happened. No, 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 no. You laughed. Of course. I Yeah, I laughed. But I it's not because I was trying to be malicious. You specifically referenced my mother, who you knew was dead. Okay, but I didn't know that this was like a we real story. Talked. You knew she was dead. Are you telling me I'm lying? Okay, but I don't remember when she died. I don't have oh, like... Oh, well, yeah, I guess. We've only known each other two fucking but, years. But, Ethan, I didn't know that what was written in that super chat was real or not. Like like you said, a lot of these okay. are like fake well, news. You no, know, my mom's dead. You knew that was real. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... You don't have any answer for it. You have no answer for it. So just move on. I don't know. I yeah, you don't know. I don't know. Five dollars is five. I did, okay. Well, it's not about the dollars right here. Oh, what gosh. else do you want me to say? Like, I don't know. Nothing. I just want you to understand me. That's all. Because I'm, I'm trying to understand okay. you. Well, I hope you understand. I think it's pretty clear. Like, I hope I'm coming through loud and clear. I think I am. I guess, and yeah. It's what it is. Like, I, I don't know. I think you can't answer what I'm saying here. You knew my mom was dead. You sat there and laughed in my fucking face. I so, didn't know that what was written in the no, super chat was true you're or not. From, that's cool. Where I'm from, that's not cool. And I'm going to call it out every fucking time. I don't give a fuck who you are or what fucking show you're on or who the fuck you work for. Hmm. Uh, okay. yeah. I just feel every like this time. is not about... I feel like a lot of what you're saying is not actually about me. Yeah. It's, just, it's just legit. Like, why would I... What? Somebody's going to talk to me like that? No, they're not. I don't know. I think people make fun of my dead mom all the time, and I don't, like, take it personally. Well, but... I do. That's the difference between me and you. I take it personally. Okay. I was not trying to make fun of your mom. I literally was just... I didn't think you did that personally. I, okay. I that. Okay. I don't think you went out of your way to do that personally. No. Okay. I think that you willingly played into that. And there were several other super chats about my mother before that, actually, uh, and about my personal life and about everything else. Uh, and I'd already sat here for an hour, actually, uh, listening to that bullshit. Uh, so I, I want that to also be factored in to the record. I doubt I, it. I can it. understand. Like, it was getting to be a lot. And you're like, it's a lot of the same types of comments. I can understand how that's annoying. <laughs> I don't think you can, really. I don't really think you can. What do you mean? I don't think you can understand what it's like to be me. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, of course, I would never understand what it's like to be you, but I can understand being asked about the same thing over and over again and not wanting to. Can you understand somebody fucking with you about your dead mom and some cackling talk show host sitting there laughing along with their five dollar super chest? Can you can you imagine something like that? Yeah, that's have that's. I was literally telling you a story of how I did a roast and a girl made fun of my mom being dead. With a super chat while they've been sitting there for like an hour. Like, I, I don't, I don't really think so, but whatever, man, just, just get me off the air. Like what? Like, I, I don't know. I guess people are waiting for me to quit the show. Like I'm not going to quit the show. So just finish it up. Like, okay. what else do have? <laughs> I'm I, not just feel, I feel show. like you're it still mad at me and I'm trying to pull a Jack Murphy or something and walk off the no, show. You can, walk I just, show. I, I feel like you're upset with me and I did not mean to upset you is, that's all I can say. It's fine. It's like, we'll, I, we'll both live. We'll both, we'll both get through this. I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll prosper. So, yeah. Let's certain. move on there. Ethan, there's a bunch of other super chats and a lot of them are sitting on you. Let's not do one. Super chats. Let's well, not no, no, super chats. any other super chats. No other super chats. No more super chats. I feel like it was already too many. You got that, Frank? No other super chats. <laughs> no more super well, chats. I'm not sending them in, dude. Frank, appreciate it. Okay. Um, Ethan, where can people follow you if they're not already following yeah, you? The Ralph Retort, Twitter, t.me slash the Ralph Retort, Telegram. Okay. I'm glad we talked, even though you're mad me at me. Too. It's great. It was lovely. I'm so glad. I'm so you're glad still mad to me. To do this. He said Thank some you. really, really nice things Thank about you. you top of the show i know and that's why i don't want i don't want there to be a misunderstanding that's why i'm like uh, i don't i don't want to let you go i don't want you to go to bed angry that's the business it's all good you'll do well 
our, I said some complimentary things about you too. I meant all those things. So and I meant all those things stay too. On stay on the hustle. Just keep killing it. That's okay. All, all right. Thank I you. I feel like we're better. It is what it is. Thank all you, right. Christian. Frank, you, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. Oh, maybe oh he's we gone. do have a lot of super chats to still go. I don't through. understand. Dude, I don't know. I feel like I. I really like stepped in it. I did not mean, I mean, there's no way. I think it was just, it was a trigger. I don't think that he genuinely thought I was making fun of his mom being dead. I don't know if that was a make or he was looking for something to flip out. Oh, over. right. Cause if like, for it. if there is a beef, then, then it makes for like more show con. Oh, all right. Well, that makes sense. If there's no beef, Maybe. then there's no like show content. It's possible, but either yeah. way, uh, you weren't laughing at the fact that his mom was dead. It was the premise no. that seemed. Yes, I think everybody knows that. <sighs> everybody gets it. I. That's why I didn't want to just let it go because I was like, please understand, it is not me maliciously laughing at your dead mom, as I also have a dead mom. Look, I think he understands that you weren't doing anything, and like I said. Maybe it's a make, maybe it's not, but he might have been looking for something. But Chrissy, to absolve you of reading any more inflammatory super chats, I'll read them for you. Okay. Okay. Well, I just had my Sydney Watson moment. You did. You very much. That was definitely a Jack Murphy. Um, but no hard feelings. He was no upset. No hard feelings. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> Aaron Spice for five bucks. Hey, Chrissy, can you congratulate my friend Adrian Blair on her victory in court? Now, here's the thing people have this inside joke. We don't know who Adrian Blair is. Yeah. And I I tried to explain that during the show. We don't know 90% of this inside beef. We don't know the lore. Coast for two bucks. Oh, my God. The guy on the right looks terrible. Well, that's a filing cabinet you're looking at. So I get it. Uh, K-Max for five bucks. Does the online left feud as often as the online right and you two's opinion? Look at Destiny. I mean, I haven't feuded question. with anybody, I, I guess, until today. I guess now I have a feud. I I did a stream to to like alleviate beef, and I created beef. Chrissy, in the process. This, is, this is not a feud. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's not Kevin a feud on Callister. my end. Chrissy, bless you for harvesting this corn. I don't get it. While I'm looking through these, Chrissy, star any other supers that might pop in? Okay. Okay. Uh, John Smith for five bucks. Ralph's dad is alive in Canada, living off welfare. Well, now we know that that's not true. So we don't, we don't know these things. That's what interviews are for. True. Kyle for five bucks. Damn, Ethan, calm down, cry baby. He calm, He did calm down. He did calm down. We got him to calm down. Oh, Ashton, Ashton. Birdie, please be nice to Chrissy. Yes. I'm going to message him right now. Pepsi man. Ralph has to be treated with kid gloves or he'll cry. Well, he didn't cry. For 20 bucks, Maggie. And now you've seen the true Ralph. Yeah, we've seen that before online. It just, you know, you never expect it to uh, manifest uh, towards the host rather than the super chatter. Wait, that's what happened with Jack Murphy. <gasps> oh. Marcy, 10 bucks. Ask if Ralph had prior knowledge. Nick Fuentes and his black light semen. I heard about that. Chrissy, did you hear about this? No. So apparently Nick Fuentes, when he'd have guests stay over his home. He would go over the beds and the mattresses with a black light to see if they've ejaculated. Oh, like after? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle That's Bogue, kind of five bucks. How many times does she have to apologize? Grow up. Chris, I think you apologized actually once in that. It wasn't too bad. And it was because you understood and you had empathy for having a, a mother that had recently passed. And I can understand being legitimately triggered over a fucking real wound. Like a fresh wound, you know. Mm -hmm. now, Arc life for ten bucks. Now you understand, Chrissy. Sorry you had to deal with this huge pos. I don't think he's a huge pos. I just no. Think he needs to get triggered. I just wonder if yeah. it, was, it was the chat that he was looking for to get out on, which is possible. But then just say in the private chat, I gotta go. Like, let's find a way out. You know. Oh you well. You think like a comedian though. He thinks like a YouTube streamer. It's different. That's true. Uh, Nesquik, five bucks a member. This is what I pay to see. Rage Pig, Graham Patakin, another member. What an emotional man! He is emotional. We all have emotions. We're all emotional. Russell Hall, the steam is heavy. Stream, 
<laughs> what did I say? Steam? You said Steam. Yeah, well. Electric head Gino, five bucks. That dude needs a medication upgrade. Two bucks. What is keeping you here? That was to him. Oh. Yeah, he was enjoying it. Camelot, what's up, dude? My buddy's 5'2 and also flips out all the time. Makes sense. What I'm 5'3. It? Season? Spring season for short men. What's short man spring. Short king spring. Commander VHS. Ralph hasn't been through all the season. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's, it's just a year. That's, 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 here. that's pretty fresh. A year. Yeah, fuck. I'm about to hit four. Kyler. Houston, we have a hollering. He was a hollering. Ralph has become a sadder DSP. I don't know what that means. Do you? No, I've heard people say DSP, but I don't know what that is. Five bucks from Circa Zero. Sandra is ashamed. Ralph, I don't know what I'm any saying, of that is. We don't know any of this. Whoa! Whoa! Damn! Thanks, Nick. Nick, I was watching your uh, your Amber Heard coverage today. It was fantastic. Yeah. I gotta uh, and now you understand the beef. You didn't step in anything. He stepped on himself. This is what he does. Well, we're all aware of that, and I think we kind of get that that's always a, a risk, but you know, Chrissy's had uh, several interactions with him. So we kind of were given him the benefit of the doubt here and there was definitely stuff to chat about. So you yeah. live and you learn and we're still pulling for you and him to make amends. We'll, we'll I see. think everyone should make up. It doesn't seem like there's any like real, real reason to stay mad at anybody. No, none. Shafts for five. Ethan Ralph was mad that he didn't get his daily dishes of canine tartar, Maker's Mark, Fecal Matter, and Alpha Zorum. Well, if you have been watching the Johnny Depp trial, you'd know that uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's vagina are big fans of Maker's Mark. Really? Mm -hmm. Mad for five bucks, Chris. You're merely an unfortunate casualty in Ralph's trauma. He's grieving. He's clearly He's grieving. grieving. Jay Bama. NASA scientists work tirelessly to hide the gunt. They do. They have uh, all sorts of instruments for that. That's well, this it. was fun. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, what's this one? Okay. Uh, let me spell it out for you. Ethan goes crazy of some perceived slight, and now you're his mortal enemy. Well, that's the thing is, like, I was refusing. I was refusing to let that be the thing. That's why I was, like, harping on it so much. I was like, no, like, let's break this down. Do you genuinely feel like I'm an asshole who would laugh at your dead mom? And he said no. But he was still like, I get it. When you're in the feeling, it's hard to, like, see yourself on the other side of it because you're fucking in it. All right, Chris, I'm going to star the other super All chats. Right. So you read those off, okay? Okay. Cesario, I jumped from Doomcock's live stream to this. The Simcast ladies were right. This was going to turn ugly. I feel like I had it and then I just stepped in it with reading that one super chat. And then I thought the idea of it was funny, which is why I left. I didn't even know if it, if it was a real thing that happened or not. Um, he was already, he already felt away. Uh, Calhoun Chrissy is being gun stalked. Russell Hall. I just laughed so hard. I came in my pants. Well, you're welcome. Uh, McLutter 40. Do not feel bad. You did nothing wrong. Oh, thanks. I also don't like it. Like, I don't mind when, like, haters and trolls don't like me, but when someone I'm cool with, I, I don't like, I just don't like misunderstandings. After diabetes takes your foot, Ethan, will you get it bronzed? I'm glad I didn't read that. Uh, Cesario, DSB Dark Side Phil, a video game streamer with an interesting history. There are several videos on, the, on his antics. Yeah, some of the, um... I think maybe I've heard either Ethan Van Skyver or or somebody in uh, FNT mention mention this DSCP person, but I don't know the lore. Grapple, don't worry, just enjoy the rage bacon with a side of freshly harvested corn. <laughs> okay. Aw. <sighs> we might have some people jumping on the chat. Oh, great. I was about to quit in a rage. <laughs> Wait, he said, it. oh, I'm not going to be the one to sign off. But then he signed off. You know what is? I didn't mind that he was what he was saying about me. I didn't like him saying like, fuck you to you like a totally. Honestly, party. Was, I'm going to be really honest. I was having a hard time 
understanding and realizing whether he was saying fuck you to you specifically right or, or the super chat. chat yeah because at one point i'm like oh he's really saying that to chris i'm like oh no no he's saying it to the chat and every time he would say it it, it would come off like the other so it was right. a little difficult to fully comprehend and then he was calling was me up the host and i was like wait it's not even a host it's just me and you talking like it's not i'm not hosting anything it's just like we're just like buds chatting, but maybe it's just he timed out. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't want him to be mad. Yeah, uh, I, don't think he's, I don't know if he's genuinely mad. Well, you might maybe have a, a simcast about to happen right now. Right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. Like people might be. Oh, in. I'm like, what day is it? <laughs> I was like, I'm late. Uh, it's Tuesday. Wow, it's only Tuesday. All right. Uh, Cyborg Ganic. Is this Dabble 2.0? Oh, I think it might be. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens, right? Uh, K Vibes. Lady, you ignored all the red flags. I believe you heard all the crazy things he was saying and you kind of played along. You didn't deserve this, though. I, I, that's the thing is, like, I don't even know what I don't even know enough to, to know. You know what I mean? Like, I. I didn't know enough to say like whether what he was saying was like true or false. Um, I just had him on to like talk about these other beefs with people that we both know. So it's like what I couldn't call him out on anything because I don't know his story. I don't know the truth. Uh, Josiah Fitch. Does it ever feel like YouTube is one big high school? Yes. Yes, it does. Sanch. Hey, Chrissy. You know what? I blanked my hand last night and my hand felt better than any of the times I blanked. Ralph's up. You can't talk about his mom. You see, he also didn't say if there were any topics or. Right. Off limits. Do not. All. I even said at one point, like, I wish you could also see these super chats so you could tell me, like, not to re not like if you didn't want. Right. If you didn't want certain ones read or write certain topics not brought up. But I was under the impression that it was all cool and then, like it was all good. I also figured too, like for somebody who is funny and makes a lot of jokes, um, like you know what I mean. I didn't think that would be the thing that would that would get to him. Like, how many times is Gino? Like, Gino's parents have both died, and uh, he'll make fun of them. Hi, Vinci. Oh my God, Vinci and Hickson. Hello. Hi, Chrissy. Sorry, I would have uh, attended sooner. I was in the middle of um, drinking and streaming. So be aware, I am two shots and I haven't eaten dinner. But um, um, no, I, okay. I, I was just do. getting yelled at for a little bit. So I'm, I'm okay. I'll be all right. Yeah, I saw the end of that. And I know how you deal with those things like you tend to freeze up. I hate to see you go through that. But um, as someone who also has a dead mother, um, I, I remember when I was 17, 18 and streaming people make dead mom jokes at me all the time because they especially hated me because they used to do like satire oh, like, you know. maybe super gamer hey gorgeous hey. people oh my god it is. what is this uh, did you call in a support group for me Frank? Wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 a little bit. Bit. i think we all have the same idea but we, we yeah, were all like chat. screaming in the background watching you go I'm through like, that shit yeah and i didn't mean, I mean to like Breeze. I was just so I was so shocked that he was that upset that quickly. And I was like, what did I do to make this happen? And I was like, you I wasn't know, denying that I laughed. I just was like, this wasn't from a malicious place. I'm going to say people this. never as stop one who, time as someone yeah. who's been cool with Ethan Ralph. Who, like, you know, he's never said anything mean about me. He's never like we've never had beef or anything. But even Ethan knows how this I don't think you even like you even said anything mean or spiteful to him. He knows how this whole business works. You have to read the super chats. That's how it goes down. Even he does it. I found his show where people have called in and have straight up lied about me, insulted me, like interrogated me based on lies, just like the worst of the worst. And like I sat through it and like he's laughed at me knowing that people lie about me, knowing all that stuff. And look, I've, I've got no beef with Ethan. I think he's just going through a really hard time and he's mm. going through a lot. And I don't think it's even you. I think it's just all the pressure. I think it's all the yeah. pressure of what he's going through. But well, he knows that's not even it. You know, he set that up. He, 
<laughs> he acted at first as if he was shocked by that super chat. And then later, as he was yelling at you and you were explaining your point more and he realized he was losing the argument, he mentioned, oh, yeah, that super chat came in an hour ago. So he was waiting for you to read that super chat, Chrissy, uh, so he could oh, go off on you. What? Really? Because, again, like, yeah, I was slow to read them. And then at some point, I don't know, I just feel like. If you're tired of me reading the super chats and say like, "Hey, I'm starting to tap out," like, let's wrap it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you're, if I mean, but here's the thing: he knows how this business works. He knows that like when you read the super chats, you read them, and like whoever's in the hot seat is gonna have to take a lot of beating down. Like I've been that crazy person on the camera, so I I understand what it's like to feel like the entire world's against you. But he shouldn't have yelled at you like that because you've always been kind to everyone, and you know. I think I I just I hope he's okay. I hope he's you know. Yeah. I just want I hope everyone to be he's okay. Another. Like no, listen. I, know, I think he's fine. He knew exactly what he was doing. Okay. Like I was saying, I, I, like when I was seventeen. Yeah, maybe I'm the dumb old, one. I, maybe like yeah, he's totally fine, and I'm just the idiot who thinks that that was a real interaction. You're not. Yeah. No, you were trying wrong. to be genuine to a non-genuine person. He mm -hmm. waited for you to read that super chat. You read much worse super chats than that. And he waited specifically so he could have a blow up on you about that, which I mean, if you were going to be smart about it, because he was obviously sitting there waiting, uh, he could have said something else that you didn't have some kind of connection to, like your mother passed away as well. So something when you I started, you know, yeah. <laughs> doing that and, you know, sharing your story, he's obviously he backed himself into a corner, but still insulting you, insulting Frank, insulting people in the chat, which was funny because what, 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour before when you started reading them, he was laughing right along with you, insulting the super chatters. But the second you mm. read one that he had an agenda behind, he turns on you. It's fucking bullshit. We right, all you do could just, YouTube. We all stream. We yeah. know how this works. That was planned. It was you could You could also just say, like, he did with the other ones. Like, oh, that's fake news. Like, you, because I don't know any of the backstory. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm not in a position to be like, no, you're lying. I know this. You know what I mean? Like, he could have literally said every single super chat was fake news and a lie. And, like, I'd be like, okay. He basically did. He just waited until yeah. that one to have a blow up on you. And you know yeah, what, Christy? It's because he wanted to leave the stream. It's because he got tired. Yeah. He mentioned how long he had been on. Right. And then he mentioned that Super Chat came in an hour ago. He's keeping track of time. He wanted to go do his own stream. And he wanted some content to take mm. to his stream, which is what just happened. That's messed up. You're that, so that, smart. That's messed up. Why are you so smart, Anna? No, that's I was thing. watching. Yeah. I feel like it's like the thing with the chat. Like the chat knows everything. I was in the chat. I was, you know, listening. And then I was like, oh my God, this fucker. And he's backtracking. And he's going after you. And he's. He'll insult you, you address it, then he goes back on the insult that he insulted you with. It's like, what are you fucking doing, right? Yeah, and I explained that's why I laughed. For him, though. Yeah. That's not a good look for him, though. So why would someone plan to do that? That's the thing. Is like Anyone who knows anything, if you were to like go off on someone for reading a super chat, as we witnessed from Jack Murphy, that's not a good look for you. Even if it is quote-unquote content, it's, that would just be a dumb move. So if you're right, well, Anna, yeah, that was a really dumb move. And there is a parallel with the Jack That's Murphy what thing, it. too. Because, like, with the Jack Murphy thing, it's like, you know, you have the same flipping out over a super chat. And then I think one of the, the main things, too, is, like, how Jack Murphy yelled and raised his voice at a woman. I think people really don't like that when raised their voice to women. Because it's, it's, like, the opposite of, like, masculinity in a way. It's, like, you lose that stoicism. You lose that control. And even if Ethan Ralph felt disrespected, in my opinion, he should have handles it differently because like when men yell at women it makes you look like um like not masculine feminine. It makes you look bad like it makes you look, it makes feminine. You look feminine yeah you're threatened by a woman like you're losing your cool with a woman like mm. you should just like keep it cool because like otherwise people are gonna like get women are the ones who need to protect the women that get emotional and flip out and yell and scream yeah and act exactly act irrational right hey pot like, off i see you in the right? chat um hit me up on twitter and I'll send you the, I'll, I'll DM you on Twitter. Uh, speaking of which, notice how the entire Orlando crew is already here together. I, I mean, you guys should be on stage. I'll be, guys, I'll be watching you guys and supporting you, but like the entire Orlando crew is here. So yeah. <laughs> are you guys packed? I'm not, I, I'm no, I was, I was going to do that. Yeah. I just got my hair done. I was listening to you while I was <gasps> I at the beauty it. parlor I and then I was driving home. And so I've been listening to this. And so that's why it's like, 
it's just been driving me crazy. And I've been screaming in the chat. I'm like, oh my God, why are you being so nice to this jackass? Like, no, like you a I nice person. I could never do that. I've been doing YouTube so much longer than me. And like, I don't know, it's the comedy world is different than the YouTube world. Like there is some, I thought he was joking at first. Like I thought yeah, he was I, messing I with you. And I was like, wait a minute, you're really, you are offended by this? Like, you ge like, will you genuinely think I laughed because I'm a shitty person? No. Okay, so I laughed by accident because I thought it was a hypothetical situation. And then, like, when I broke it down logically, like, the logic did not prevail. So I was like, all right, we're in emotions. That's the thing. Like, okay. well, I I'm getting, it's getting really, here's the thing. I've had no beef with Ethan Ralph, so it's getting really hard for me to keep, like, standing up for him. But, like, he's going to call my friend Lauren ugly and then say you're a bad person. Like, it it's really hard for me to deal with that because... You're my friends. And also, even if you weren't my friends, to call Lauren Southern ugly and to call you a bad person is ridiculous. Like, that's just not it. It's rejection. It's opposite, it's and that's opposite all it is. Yeah. He, he sees a beautiful woman like Lauren, a beautiful, intelligent, successful. Oh, she's ugly and stupid. Rah, 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 rah. Chrissy, extremely nice, extremely respectful, even then when he what doesn't deserve it no, at right. all. <laughs> You're beautiful too, but Ashton was bringing up the point that he was no, disrespectful no, to you and he called Lauren ugly. You are beautiful. I you know what you should around. have said, Chrissy? Yeah. And I'm like, you need to play up the ginger thing more, which is you. all you had to say is, I had no soul. That's why I laugh at these morbid oh, jokes. Oh my God. <laughs> to be fair, was, she's like, a fake ginger. So yeah. She sold her soul. No, that's why she doesn't know the gingers have no souls because she has one. I'm a, I'm a real, like I'm a natural blonde. So maybe that was just like a blonde moment. I don't know. No, you're fine. You handled it good. I mean, I don't know how you can sit there and have somebody screaming at you and like have your composure. I would have flipped the fuck off on him. That's so, why I was like, yeah. I mean, I was like, I need to understand this, but uh, you're you're probably right, Anna. That it's just like I'm tired, and what's better to leave, you know, in, in a polite way, or to leave like on drama, so you have something to talk about. Like, I get it. You know, it's a difference in class. You have class, and he doesn't. Oh. So was Frank. I was, was I cucked or felt it? I'm, I'm no. <laughs> Someone says filing cabinet felt no. it by Ralph. Yeah, yeah. Rare Ralph W. I don't even know what that I'm means. To be honest, I was I was confused and we were all confused. I was I couldn't I don't mind him saying fuck you, he's the guest. That's fine. I'm a little producer here in the back, but I really couldn't tell if he was telling Chrissy to fuck off. Or the fan or the, the super chat. So, um, yeah. Flamenco we'll is asking to come was. on. Do, do you want to send him? He's so like Flamenco very is, Ralph. he was one of uh, his co hosts, and then they had this big falling out. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah, Venti, okay. you could send it to him. Yeah, Flamenco was stream sniping you the whole time. <laughs> stream sniped? Yeah. Um, okay, this is from Good Flamenco's Pool. Flamenco's cool. He's been on Flashcast. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's always been nice to me. I like flamenco. Adrian Blair successfully he's sued good. Ralph after he doxed her after they broke up. That's where the Adrian Blair one meme comes from. Oh, okay. Good to know. Oh, it's your talk. Oh, yeah. God. We had to pick a tick off of Muffin's head the other day. I like almost oh. cried. I was like, just get a lighter. A lighter to like yeah, burn so the way for that way for them not to hurt your dog, and so that way their head comes off. You put a lighter on their butt and they'll I don't let want, go. Oh, the tick's head comes off. All right, yeah, it was like right in there. It was like yeah, you have. This was I a know. Teaser. Oh well, the thing is, if though. you leave a part of it on there, it'll grow back and it will like yeah. a starfish. Oh, I don't know. You you have to make sure that the whole head comes off, or else it'll just grow back and keep feasting on your puppy. Yeah, Damn. I remember when I lived in the woods, I had to pick the ticks off of my dogs because they would just because the middle of the woods would open the door and then they'd run out into the woods and then come back home and they would come back with ticks a lot of the time and I had to be the one to pick it off for some reason. I don't know why I was designated tick picker. Um, yeah. Tick picker. I like that. Yeah, it sounds like some okay. like racist thing like cotton picking. I'm fucking <laughs> tick picker. I'm, like a, <laughs> I'm gonna pick okay, the bugs out of my dogs. What are you ladies cosplaying as when you get here? Like, I'm so excited to see y'all. Like, I'm so excited. I'm just excited to hang out with you guys, honestly. So what is uh, everyone cosplaying as? I can't blow my surprise, especially, well, the, my costume might not even arrive in time, which if um, not, then I'll just wear it for Halloween. I'll say mine. I go with the easiest ones. I think I'm going to be Lois Lane and Alita, but those are just because they're easy and they're, well, we'll see about Lois because the blazer's kind of big. 
Hi, Flamingo. Hello. How's it going, ladies? Oh, my God. You're a little Hello. dog in a cup. Yeah, yeah. The, the people in my audience tend to like it. How are you guys doing How tonight? How did you make that? All right. Sorry, um, I didn't even make it. A friend of mine did. And it moves when you talk or it just moves? Yeah, it's off. matched up to my face like with uh, lips and shit. It's, a, it's called right. a VTuber model or something. I need to get on this. That's this adorable. This is 2022. <laughs> this is the future, guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm it, not a cat. That's the shit that's like really blowing <laughs> yeah. up right now. But uh, yeah, I was uh, I was watching the uh, the Ralph thing, and I was kind of uh, anticipating sort of a meltdown. Huh? Why well, was I wasn't? Maybe I'm dumb. I just was. Th I just thought we'd have like a regular conversation. Oh no, I don't. I don't think. I don't think that's possible at this point. I think uh, any time Ralph goes into an area, that's there. There's going to be like super chats being read that mm -hmm. he has no control over. It's going to. It's going to lead to uh, a lot of just anger and yelling and shit. God, which is like so similar to the Jack Murphy thing. And it's like if he if Jack went to a situation going like, wow, I have I have X, Y, Z thing to hide. I definitely don't want to talk about X, Y, Z thing. And then it comes up. You're like, Ugh. I can I can understand how a lot of emotion comes to the surface when you're n you're trying to not talk about certain things and then they come up. But I don't know. Oh, Jack oh, Murphy fault. was doing a. Oh boy, it's the pickle man. Oh hey, what's up, big fan? What a crazy episode this is. <laughs> oh been. my gosh, this you wear this nuts. costume hey, all the time. Up, man? What's what up, you think? I like um, your, your pickle hey, Rick cosplay. Pickle. Thank you so much. Thank you, you still want to fight me? Is yeah, that, is uh, that the, is Ash that and I we're actually going to wrestle. Keemstar's having a big <laughs> event. Ethan's oh going to be God. fighting Andy Worski. I'm going to be wrestling Ashton and Brittany Venti and that Star Wars time. girl and Chris wow. Oh my God. And yeah. every E girl on the internet. Um, but anyway, I'm a big fan of the show and this is insane. You didn't do anything wrong, Chrissy. Um, okay, I like to think of the show, by the way, is female Revenge of the Sis, which is cool. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, guys... it's funny. I was just with Royce like a few days ago at Universal, man. How tall is he, by the way? Because you towered over him. Uh, I'm wearing heels, and also he's kind of slouching, and I stand really tall because I worked as a party princess. Don't give him anything. So, party he's party shorter. Yeah, I worked as a for a long time before to you know while I was in college before politics. I worked as a party princess. So I dressed up as princesses and went to you know kids' birthday parties. Oh, so I like I I totally yeah. thought of something different when you said that. I was like, you could have been like Cinderella like, at Disneyland. Uh, I'm actually too short for Cinderella at Disneyland. I'm the perfect height. They got heels. Wonderland, apparently. They got I know, heels. but the thing is, they're super strict about it. So, but I'm the perfect height for Alice, apparently. So that'd be interesting. Oh, you'd be a good wow. Alice. I could see that. Yeah, you're very Alice. Definitely. But Wendy, Wendy, and Wendy and Alice are always played with the same person, which is actually really helpful because you know if you get the voice down, it's the same voice actor too. So, yeah, mm. um, okay. yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> Well, it's nice to meet you, Pot Awful. I feel bad I don't know who you are. but That's uh, okay. Nice I don't really you. know who you are either. All I know okay, is cool. that at the event, we're wrestling. You and me. Okay. And you're going down. You're, re you're wrestling I another cheat, person too after FYI. Action. I'm wrestling a lot of people at this event. I'm wrestling um, Eugenia Coonley. What's her name? Oh, You'll God. break her. Yeah, Why would you do that? Yeah, too. Yeah, what no, the fuck? I'm going to win against all of you. Um, all right. I have a question to the pickle and the... Justine. Oh, sorry. What's that? I have a question to the pickle and the cup creature. So do yes. you think <laughs> that this, do you think that this, that even getting mad at me was like, he just arbitrarily picked a super chat that he was going to get mad at so that that, that would be the note he would leave on? Or do you think you, I, I genuinely hit a nerve? I think he was genuinely getting mad throughout like all the night, like as the super chats went on. Uh, he tried to play it off as uh, not getting super mad, but he was he was getting really short with some of the super chats before then. And then I think it was you kind of laughing at what the person was asking in the super chat that like really set him you off. You clearly didn't understand. Like you didn't know that it was real or not. I think yeah. he was just hungry. 
and he wanted to go. Okay, that <laughs> like, I understand. It's you know, possible. Like, he can't yeah. be on camera for so long without eating. He's got to. Go. It was also only like an hour and a half, and then sometimes when I do a two-hour show and I'm like, let's wrap it up, people are like, oh, you're a pussy, Chrissy. You got to do these longer <laughs> streams. When you're that big, you got to fuel that engine way more often than you were giving him the chance to. He's sitting there. He's reading those donos. He doesn't get so many coming in anymore either. So he's getting jealous too. On top of and that, to make it to make it sound like it's about it's about like me collecting all this money it's like no i don't care about that like i just like but i want to the people that do send a super chat it's like they deserve to have their thing read of and course. he didn't he didn't tell me there were any like but no the thing is is that he used to be in the same freaking business chrissy well, the same business he still is he, like, now. Yeah, technically very very technically he's in the same business if there's a super chat that's kind of poking fun of him a little too much he'll just skip like, it so. even when he would have people insult Which is the all absolute the crap chat. out of me even when he had people insult the absolute crap out of me and harass me and call in and say the worst lies about me and the worst things about me he would sit there and he would laugh and i would put up with it and i had no qualms with him because i realized this wasn't him hating me it was just him doing his job and he was gonna have me on to speak my piece but like for him to get mad at you for doing the exact same to do less than what he used to do or still does i guess it is just it's a little that's what irks me the most is that he does the exact same thing but tenfold hmm. can well, i uh, just can i ask you this chrissy did you see that he tweeted out saying that he was thinking of canceling uh even coming on your show no did he? no did he really yeah, he was like he was like I oh, he was like asked if he could um do something tonight and then he was like, ah, I got this. I'm supposed to be on this show and Chrissy's show. Oh, he was he was he was saying that in relation to the um the Andy Worski fight that he's trying right. to set up with Team Star, Star is trying to set up this fight yeah. with Andy. And so he wanted to do that tonight. And then <laughs> Ethan, Ethan was like, I can't. Say you have a heart out. Just say I can only this is do a real hour, fight. You know? Yeah, it's a real yeah. fight. Like Stand in, by, in, in fight person Ogie. or internet in, fight. In person. They're trying to set it um, up tonight. But what happened was he was supposed to be on two shows. I don't know what the other one was. But he, he, the other one, he was like, oh, I'm definitely going to be on that. But Chrissy's, I could probably reschedule that. He was treating you like second but he class. he didn't you know? at all mention rescheduling. He said, actually, he kept in really good touch with me like all night. I was like, hey, we still good? He was like, yeah. And then he's like, all right, I'll be there at 915. I was like, great, cool. We're on. Like, It's funny you say that because um, he probably just said that to make it sound like, oh, yeah, I'm a really busy guy. And he had zero intention of ever canceling on you because he's too scared to fight Andy Worski. But we're trying to make this fight happen. We're trying to make it mm -hmm. a good one. I'm going to be wrestling Ashton and Chrissy and Brittany and that Star Wars girl. A Anna, is your name Anna? Anna? Yeah. Anna. Anna. Oh. Um, I'm going to be wrestling all you guys. <laughs> Brittany scammed me on a dono the other day. You know, you saw that super chat that I sent you about wrestling you. I know you skipped it. Um, because a guy sent in three hundred dollars immediately after that, and you were like, Ooh. "So?" Oh um, no, the, no, I was genuinely distracted. If it was the three hundred dollar one, I genuinely <laughs> did not see it. Brittany was putting together furniture and um, drinking a a nice Lambrusco or something. I'm not sure what she was doing, but Lambrusco um, wine on the yes. hill. Something like that. So Sam Hyde, though, he is going to fight Boogie at this event. So you guys, we got to get. There's not enough ladies in on this event. I'm trying to get the ladies in. I don't know if you guys saw that I Dubs fight the other night. You, and yeah, it had, it it had two ladies it. fighting too. Oh, that was pretty good. So this was great. I don't know who these women were. Um, I know some of you guys. I know Ashton. Um, uh, Brittany was on my show before we met in person. I don't know if you remember that. I'm pot awful. And then yeah. uh, you came to my home. That was weird. You just showed up. And then, so I saw this fight the other day, and there's these ladies. I don't know who they are. They're like a TikTok lady, and I don't know, maybe somebody's secretary or something. And they fought each other, and it was actually one of the better fights of the night. So it's time. We got to get in on this Keemstar thing. We got to get the ladies in. So that's why I'm challenging all the women out there to wrestle me at this fight. Um, we got to get a lot. And I think Flamenco should actually fight somebody there, too. Maybe his own demons or uh, something like that. I'm not sure who would. <laughs> I'm not sure who. Yeah, how, are, how are we going to do that specifically? That would be fun, though. That would I don't be know. fun. My dude, I'm fighting my own demons personally, so let's see how that works out. Could I, or I'll, alternatively, Chrissy, could I suggest this? Could you and whoever you think is sort of your Mersh fight Royce and Mersh from Revenge of the Sith? Who is Email. who's Mersh? What would be a, That's a my great Mersh? Question. Wouldn't oh, that God. be a Frank? That you know, there's um, a there's a really the good documentary series been. right now by a uh, YouTuber by the name of Porcelain about Porcelain. Mersh. If you want to learn more about him, <gasps> yes, I, I know love about Porcelain. Porcelain. So yeah. nice. You might not like Real Porcelain, Chrissy, I, and I'd understand that. But um, he does. I might have not a great, like him. 
Well, I don't know. Like, no, I, cause I know like he makes fun of some people you're friends with and stuff. It's kind of one of those weird crossover internet. Uh, things, he's, you know? Here's the thing. He's fair. He's very fair um, very with fair. his, how, how um, he goes after people, honestly, because he could have really talked a lot of crap about me and he didn't. He was actually very friendly to me and reached out to me. He's been fair so. to you, Ashton. Um, and Ashton, I, you sent me a DM saying that I make you uncomfortable. Are they free? <laughs> what just happened? What I don't happened? know. I think I, I eliminated her from the ionosphere yeah. or something. Uh, so, Flamenco, oh. what did you think about the whole <laughs> dream? Because I saw you were stream sniping it. Yeah, um, I mean, it did disappoint. Like, I, I was kind of a little wondering, because um, specifically... Chrissy's use of the word fan fiction um, was that something that Ralph has said in like DMs or something before? Because like that was a very specific Ralph ism when it comes really? to people no, discussing. Really? No, I've actually like, heard. I, I've heard a lot me. of other people use that phrase. I've said that really mm -hmm. on Chrissy's show. And the funny thing is, I'm pretty sure oh, Ralph okay. got that from me because I use the term fan fiction a lot because I was a fan fiction nerd growing up. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he yeah. got that from me. Yeah, that's that's basically Ralph's like catch-all term whenever uh, people are kind of making fun of him and talking about him on the internet. Um, also, him talking about his mom, uh, the dialysis, that really did. Ha you should pull up. Yeah, the, the, See, the, I had no idea that was a real thing. A real, I, so I, I know it's not like, dying, but I don't like have it written down exactly when yeah. everyone's mom dies. Like I didn't. Well, know it wasn't. It's, it's not it about like, his mom dying. The story's not about his mom dying. It's a story about um, Ralph had a really like kind of bad bender for about a week where he was absolutely like shit face blackout drunk he wasn't able to run his show at all um and one of these events was he like fell asleep with the stream still on and then the stream played out throughout the night and he woke up like with his mom waking him up to take her to dialysis and him just sort of like you know getting more and more belligerent um, he was like, you know, groaning. It's like, ah, and there's like a lot of like famous memes from that where it's like, that's not true. Or, uh, I fucking call you an Uber or something like that. Basically his mom was wanting him to take him to, I uh, take her to dialysis. Cause it was like two o'clock in the afternoon and he was still like passed out drunk. And, um, you know, he's just, I'll, I'll call you an Uber. Um, I don't even think it's like necessarily a, uh, a like bad story about his mom. It's just kind of embarrassing for him. I don't know. Oh, okay. No, it's a fine story about his mom. It's a very, very bad one about him, especially after she's dead. Well, it's funny because like that's the thing that like that that's why I know it's fake because that that's what got him triggered over like there was so many about like how he's a terrible father and yeah. his kids and like backstabbing and like, people right? and all that that's the yeah. one that got you triggered revenge people. porn yeah I think he's a good guy after that what? oh well i think he's tall <laughs> though. i do think he's tall well, oh, you <laughs> is guy. today opposite day that counts five foot one <laughs> that's the official lore uh, he's one of the tallest guys i've ever seen i've seen him in person he's super tall and he's really nice and he's a good dad um, to be I don't want to ruin Chrissy's relationship. There's with an entire song. I think this can still be mended. Maybe Chrissy. Can I'm stay cool. I I'm still. I'm cream. still like strongly neutral with Ethan. Like I'm. I. I just like. Yeah, well, I, I think, think he's I've... already burned the bridge. I, I think it's already. I'm over. really okay. I'm pretty, yeah. I'm pretty I, I think neutral he, as well. He, he just tweeted out like three minutes ago saying these people are absolute scum. I, I think you're. Um, <laughs> I think you're in collusion with the uh, the man in the pickle suit, literally. <laughs> Oh my god, I see. What? Oh wow. And then he tweeted, he retweeted uh, someone saying fuck you Frank and then it was a picture of him with the yeah. middle finger and his eyes are beaming. He sure he sure showed you guys. Oh boy. Oh wow. Can All somebody right. green screen me well, in behind me? Sure I'm, I'm okay, just I'm I'm so. genuinely how did, that, how did that become a thing? Fuck you Frank. Jesus Christ. Frank that is one of the crazy. nicest like, guys. That's the weirdest. Talking. That's that's Probably because there were Let no catchphrases from the episode. Let me tell you something. Oh, okay. Frank has to deal with me so much and my antics, especially during the whole we don't have shit. To deal. That's all. Oh, thank you, love. Thank you for lying for me. But <laughs> but Frank and Chrissy are the nicest freaking people in the world. This is what I don't understand. Call, like, look, I tried to be I'm trying to be neutral with Frank, but if you start coming at my friends who have not once gone after you. 
and you're just insulting them, antagonizing them when they've tried to be nice to you. I I'm not gonna have it. You can't call my friend Lauren ugly. You can't call my friends mean or bad people or go off on them when they've done nothing wrong. I don't appreciate that. I really I, I will say I will say Lauren's uh, banter with Ralph has been pretty good too. Um, Are we talking about Lauren Southern? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> when he called her ugly. That is Oh, well, joke. so no, the, the the more funny one, the more funny one is um so like a little bit of lore is uh Lauren has a very attractive younger sister by the name of Jess who has a, uh, a very nice butt and Ralph is a okay. very much oh, hang on a very, we're in the presence of ladies he, he here. very much admires her butt and would end his streams with a uh, a specific photo that prominently displays just Southern's butt and uh, Lauren responds back to Ralph saying it's like no but I do have Jess's love and she says that you're creepy wow and that was just that was really fucking funny that it was also you could just say that you admire her butt huh I mean yeah. What was your <laughs> thing? Didn't you, people? Um, didn't your porn come out or something for me? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. What was it you're into? I looked Gay at stuff? uh wooden horses or something. <laughs> wooden horses. Yeah, something no, like the, that. I don't understand. What is the wooden horse? I don't really. I think it's, I think that's just the one thing that like really stuck in it. I don't even remember where that is in the. What thing. does that mean? You're into Trojans or what? Yeah, essentially. You know why don't you Google it with Facebook? Uh... <laughs> yeah, you <should> definitely Google. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to Google. That feels like being told to Google Blue Waffle or something. I'm really afraid of what might show up. Hey guys, who, everyone who's a member, there's a there's a new emoji. Uh, <gasps> Ooh, uh, what is it? Is it a pickle? No, it's it's uh, Ethan Ralph saying "fuck you, Frank." Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. That's not true. It's <laughs> pretty good. I have more yeah, super chats. It, it, I'm afraid to read them. Let's read the super well, chats. Yeah, I mean, you know, chat. he's already going off on Twitter. You know, it's pretty much peaking. It can't get worse from here. Now I'm I'll fighting with him on Twitter. He wanted, he wanted this to happen, Chrissy. It's just content for him. If he was on here, had a very pleasant time with right. you, didn't have an outburst, he'd it's have boring. nothing to be bitching about. So he he did this on it's purpose. True. Don't take anything personally. Is, you did nothing wrong. Get. He he has a great he had a great relationship with Chrissy and he basically just purposely burned that bridge for like hmm. shit content because like what like how long is this content on Chrissy gonna last? Not very long. So it's like why would you burn that bridge with Chrissy? Yeah, it's not that spicy. Well, I mean, yeah. he's burned bridges with like people like Flamingo, people like Gator that were like mm -hmm. his friends and you know co-hosts for years, and he just said fuck that. So. What does one person that he talks to occasionally on the internet mean? Absolutely nothing. Oh, and it's That's over true. like it's over like really benign shit. Like, um, I I have found that there is a pretty decent market in making fun of um making fun of Ralph's like it's various like foibles or something. Um, <laughs> but like he went full on nuclear because I said that um it was really like gay that he was using the DMCA system to strike down videos that were making fun of him. And it's just like, just, I've hate that snake flamenco. He's, he's a piece of shit. I, I never liked that. No good autistic piece of shit. And, um, like for a while, I wouldn't even like make fun of him, but, uh, you know, he, he, he just keeps on, uh, upping the ante, I guess. Maybe it's my fault for overvaluing the relationship to begin with. I mean, I think it's also just you didn't like you probably didn't even keep up with half this shit. Like the um, no, I I have like yeah. yeah, I was not studied on the back. Yeah, the story. the the Nick Ricada stuff. Um, my friend Augie clipped out the like a uh, twenty four hours uh, segment from the twenty four hour stream. And it looks like he probably like sharded himself or like, you know, farted and shitted just a little bit. Um, and somebody sends that to Rakeda in a super chat and R Rakeda watches it. And it's just like, oh, that, oh, that's gross. That's gross. That's gross. <laughs> and Ralph is like, Plus he's a no good you. fake lawyer. I hate him and his brood of retards. Like it's it, it, at the very hint that there is any sort of animosity he will fly off the handle mm. can i ask you a question that star wars girl is ethan ralph more of a job of the hut or a boss nass i mean that's giving him way too much credit for either Ooh. fair <laughs> so you're saying I, you'd rather I'm be a slave for job of the hut than ethan ralph 
Um, apparently there's more context. I didn't hear this part. I only heard the end bit of when he was going on you, Chrissy. Um, but he said it was a setup from the start, which I knew. I gave it some leeway, but you guys know me. I just can't be a bitch. I have to call it like I see it. See, this goes back into Jack Murphy, like the having to appear yeah. alpha thing. He needs to drop that. That's how was like, this not how you appear alpha? It was a setup for him. He's pretty boring on that episode. Well, yeah. he does call himself yeah. the Ralpha male for crying mm -hmm. out loud. It's not always about, especially against a lady, you know, to being on a stream with a lady. You don't have to seem like, oh, you're the alpha with a lady on the stream. That seems like a, a an odd thing to have to project out. And by the way, I am going to wrestle all that. That implies women. that there's competition. It shouldn't be competition exactly. to be masking with a female. That's opposite. Um, exactly. Effect. And then he also said some two-bit New Jersey hoa laughing at my mom a day after anniversary of her death. I don't think so. I didn't know it was a day wow. after anniversary. First you? Well, you invited first him on for the anniversary of his mother's death? That might be part of the problem. I did not know. I did not know his mom. I, I mean, oh, okay. I, I didn't know when she died. Like, I don't. I really should keep track of when everybody's parents die <laughs> so I cannot, like, trigger anybody. Um, That's a good see, idea. Streamers are like Disney princesses. We have no parents. Also, I'm from Long Island, so I don't appreciate the New Jersey part. <laughs> I'm triggered. I'm so Ouch. triggered. I don't know. And it's also like a setup. Like I don't know who either of you are, Dog and Cup or Pickle Man. I don't blame so you. So I, I, that's okay because it's like I, I don't know. I do comedy and shit. <laughs> so. Just, I'm just a pickle. The fact that you're I'm here, just like, happy to be here. I don't know. Somebody said to bring you in. Frank sent out the friggin' I don't know. Maybe this is all Frank is the mastermind behind because I don't know. Frank's I don't a know smart either guy. of you guys. I have no fucking clue what's going on. You're lucky no. to have this Frank guy. He's a smart yeah. guy. Thank Aww. you. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, none of this is Frank a setup. Frank was really and trying to make peace, like really hard. Thank you. Yeah, this was not a setup by any means. Uh, all of you guys were in the chat already. And as soon as things were hitting the fan, I'm getting messages. Let this person in, let that person in. So Chrissy and I were reading up the super chats and y'all just came in. It's yeah. not a big deal. Yeah. It's what you do when you're live streaming for more than an hour or two. You know, people I jump in and have things to yeah, I don't see it. if if that's what he's in reference to with the setup of like people jumping on after I was in middle of streaming and I had heard about it and that's why I jumped on. I had no idea. I was literally in middle of like drinking wow. shots with my viewers. I'm like two shots in and I was like, oh shit, what's happening here? So, oh, great news. Okay. Yeah, it's skinny. The, the thing I don't get with skinny. Ralph is if he's in like constant contact with these people, why doesn't he just like, hey, you know, reach out to the people and say, hey. Um, there's going to be some super chats if you can. Yes! Like if they bring up these topics, yes! please don't mm -hmm. read them or please just like, I would you know. happily, yeah, because I have shit when I have like trolls who come in and they'll, you know, make the same jokes or whatever. Like, and if that bothered me, I would say like, let, let's avoid these types of things. It's no big what deal. What are some examples of those types of things? Hmm? I'm blocked. He just blocked me. Oh. Welcome to the world. Welcome to the world's least exclusive. Oh, wait, blog. no, yeah. I didn't get blocked. He deleted his tweet. Oh, the you really? people tweets. Never mind. I didn't get now blocked. you'll be blocked. He's now watching I'm... this. Yeah, welcome to the no, even, even if you're Club watching, Anna. I'm sorry. I did not mean to make you mad. And if yeah. you're not actually mad, then I guess we're fine. You don't owe anyone an apology. Yeah, he apologize. was sitting on the stream cussing at you and your boyfriend and your chat. He can go fuck himself. Apologize you know, for that mother. kind of don't apologize. He doesn't deserve it, and you're too good of a person to uh, sit there and take that from a piece of shit like the, that. The tweet is still up. These people are absolute scum. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think he's talking. I, oh I think he's talking. <laughs> off on Brittany. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? Why are you burning oh, I am Brittany blocked. Is? Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it was coming. It was coming. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I had it out a little you. bit. I. I really think he's just shooting himself in the foot. He has a problem of assuming the worst in people. I really think that's the main issue. He and I've talked to him about that. that. Yeah. yeah he's sort of really... Portuguese fighting himself in the foot. We've had a conversation about that. I'm like, <laughs> like he assumes the worst. And I don't know. Was the Portuguese thing about me or Worski? Oh, uh, Worski. Uh, uh, well, neither really. Ethan went to Portugal and uh, got beat oh, up by yeah, some Portuguese men. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm if gonna, people I'm just the worst, that's how people are going to show up to them. Then they're going to actually show up as like the worst assumption that you make of them because it's like a self fulfilling prophecy. True. I'm gonna blow through some of these soups. Um, don't worry, Chrissy. He just has brain damage from all the coke he does. He's beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Russell Hall. Four Q, Chrissy from the gun. Oh, I was gonna ask, was he drinking? Because that's what it seemed like. That's coming from me, who is also drinking. So that's why I clock it. It's definitely A lot possible. Of people saying that he was drinking earlier. Um, but I don't know. I haven't watched the stream. He he did um he did accidentally read out his debit card on stream <gasps> like today so he oh, no. do that he had what? a really bad day yeah. <laughs> then he should have canceled oh my god I'm, I'm understanding of that shit i don't know oh by the way my, my chat really mm -hmm. wants me to bring up um pippa during the the super chat questions somebody brought up an anime rabbit um a uh a vtuber by the name of uh, pippa pipkin had um just during like after ralph's portugal trip had um done a, a full stream on ethan ralph and it was uh it was kind of uh really really funny um i think uh, i think the best line was ethan ralph is like getting to go and see people at walmart without going to walmart and uh <laughs> he immediately blocked like a just random anime rabbit vtuber it was really funny I mean, okay. I still think it's crazy that Keemstar is tweeting Thank about Andy hey, Morrissey and Ethan Ralph. Thanks, BM. Bless your That's heart, Chrissy. You're a sweetheart. Stay awesome. Hope he finds some peace. I do, too. I genuinely feel that way. Maggie, I think you missed my second super chat. Hi, Flamenco. <sighs> Questionable shows. The most messed up thing is the chat was quoting him. Oh. Russell Hall, to be fair, Ethan just gave you a massive gift. Uh, maybe. Also, oh, hi to the person who super chatted. Sorry. Jay Bama fan, Ethan's blood sugar level is still lower than Xana's. I don't know who that is. Calhoun, Gunt. Oh, Gunt Murphy, heartfelt. Big bad Gunt, 1000. Oh. <laughs> oh, do, um, I can also explain what felt it is if you guys want. Well, it's like anal, right? It's like no. Um, so <laughs> anal. so there's a uh, there's a we were lied to, a, a weekly show called the um, Kino Casino that's headed by Andy oh Worski and uh, PPP. My best friend PPP. And PPP has like a massive hatred of <laughs> Ralph. So basically, uh, it's a term where you're at you're at the table at the casino and you keep on placing bets and you keep on losing. You go down, reach for some more chips, and you just keep on losing until eventually oh. you reach down and it's just nothing but felt. Hmm. That green felt, baby. Oh, wow. It's, wait, so Andy Worski and PPP basically invented that state that uh, term yeah essentially it's, it's wow. a good one too i like it see andy here's the thing is i was always really torn because ethan was always really nice to me and andy was always really nice to me and i was actually kind of shook when they broke up essentially um mm -hmm. but at the same time andy's never insulted my friend so mm. you saw that you know, one photo the where it was ethan uh andy ricada in one photo and everyone's like this photo is crazy now yeah. <laughs> well, it also had yeah. Coach Red Pill in it. I think that's part of why it was so crazy. People thought he was dead at the time. Oh, is Andy Worski used to be a co-host of Killstream, wasn't he? He was a yeah. co-host. Yeah, for like, a while. They were they were peanut butter and jelly for the longest time. That is well, not they've had they've had a little eat. bit of a tumultuous relationship. There was like um, right after Knoxville, there was a period where um, Ralph and Andy hated each other. Um, it might have had something to do with the fact that uh, Andy might have told Ralph's wife at the time that at, during the Miami trip that they went on, Ralph had uh, cheated on her multiple times with uh, prostitutes. And um, that that might be the reason why uh, <laughs> Ralph didn't like Andy for a while. But then he had Andy on to sort of bring new life into his show and then um, it, another falling out and now. Hopefully they're going to fight. I really want it to happen. And we got to all be there, guys. Ashton, you and me. Okay, well, they, they need to not do it in fucking <laughs> oh London. God. They don't need to do it in the UK. Okay. They need to do it, like, in America. I just want to get through some of these super chats. Hold on. Uh, Phil Abuti, Ralph is a rare rage pig, takes things the wrong way, blows up, and then can't step back and take a look at himself and or apologize for being wrong. T89, the interaction described in the super chat was tr uh, that triggered Ralph happened. I think his anger was a mixture of grief and guilt. I can understand that. 
uh, Center Invictus and his Portugal flag gave Ralph flashbacks. Felt it. I feel like that's mm -hmm. like unbreaded for this group. Um, Star Lord, good evening all. I hope you're doing well. Advice for a new YouTube channel besides thick skin. Thanks for all you do. Brittany, welcome to Texas. I just got off a 15 hour shift, but I get to chill here. Ooh, thanks, Star Lord. Oh, oh Daisy Cousins. Oh, Daisy. Uh, I love Daisy. Hi, lovely Chrissy. So sorry you had to endure such unprofessionalism. True. You were so patient and classy, much more so than I would have been in that situation. Haha, <laughs> much love. Well, uh, in my youth, I was used to getting yelled at. So, uh, Alex Stein, the super chats were rude Shut as up, fuck. My boy Alex oh my Stein. God. But it was incredible content. So maybe just laugh it off and take it as a win, Chris, and just move on and punch upwards. I love you. Oh, I love you too, Alex. Yeah, I don't know how he's going to go on shows where super chats get read now. Like Smug Industries. It's a setup because five minutes after he leaves you, you have all his haters on. I don't know who these people are. So it's yeah, not I, a think, setup. I asked, I I asked actually, Brittany if I could come in. So yeah, I don't fucking. I, there's I so many friends. people I don't there's know. There's no haters in the chat. I'm looking at the chat, you know, as I really shouldn't be doing. There's no haters against Christy in the, in the chat. I That's feel true. like it's getting to the point where we are burning so many bridges. You're also kind of burning your own audience. To the point where if you start going on your own shows, that audience is going to start supporting the people that you cause beef with yourself. Well, who so, is he cool with at this not, point? Just Nick Fuentes? Is that it? That's it. Isn't that, isn't that that bridge burning or something? Well, Nick did he, check to see how much cum was on Ethan, and it was just the right amount. So he got God. to stick around. <laughs> what? But, but even for that super what? chat, we all came on because we saw what happened to Chrissy. And I mean, at least for myself, it's like when I see my friends getting attacked by fucking retarded pieces of shit on the internet, my immediate response is to defend my friends. And so that was fucking bullshit. Well, Minko has a lot of fucking experience with Ralph and, you know, wanted to tell Chrissy like, yo, this is what you're. Oh yeah. Cause I enjoyed, with. I enjoyed the show. You know? I enjoyed the show a lot. It was a good, it was good for my audience too. Oh, okay. Glad. That. Can I read this one? Oh, sure. Chrissy, you are such a funny, talented and genuine person and also a fine piece of love ya. Oh, that was thanks, good read. David. Wow, that was a dramatic reading. Uh, okay, just a couple more and then we can wrap it. Russell Hall, the chat did nothing wrong. Aw, love to the chat. Mark's man of 117B. Chrissy, you can trust Flamenco. He's friends with Yellow Flash and Nick Rakita, and they all know Ethan. Ethan has been a drunk mess for years now. All right, well, I like Yellow Flash and I like Nick Rakita. Yeah, they're two good. Uh, Nick and Yellow uh, Flash have been like super nice to me. Definitely. And Nick is I my actually lawyer. Didn't know. I didn't oh, know really? who Nick was until his like stream, I guess, was trending because of the whole Johnny Depp stuff. Yeah. Um, I actually subscribed to him today without even knowing who he is. And then I'm hearing him in this bit of uh, this stream, and I'm like, oh, you're supposed to so everyone should go subscribe to Nick Ricada right now. Yeah. He's oh, my also lawyer. He also wears blackface. It's very funny. He's one of the coolest what? lawyers out there. Yeah, he's a blackface lawyer. And I, I also oh, sorry, what? Sorry, interesting. Yeah, he did. Okay, he did do that once, but his uh, black friend really liked it. Um, <laughs> I I also I also like how Ralph was taking credit for Nick's um, career starting off when yeah. Nick was more coming up through Dick Masterson's people. I don't know. It was just mm. uh, whatever. It's like it's, it's like a something uh, stuttering John would do. Uh, Russell Hall, I can't wait to see the Perry Chan memes. Kill all pedos. Well, that's nice. It, uh, Ralph, it's Ronnie. I'm very oh, disappointed in you. I should have finished the job when I had the chance. Oh, that was uh, that's mm -hmm. Ethan's dad. Oh, geez. Yeah. Okay. Aww. So we're going to get more VTubers on the Chrissy Mayer podcast now. Flamenco became the first. I nominate Project Melody of Vijo. God, there's so many people I don't know. Okay. Oh, well, Melody's uh, kind of funny. Quick. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, at least it wasn't a boring show. Yeah, that's true. Thanks, Nesquik. And lastly, from KMAX, in memory of Ashton teasing Andy Worski about Portuguese food, she said it was a oh. full of oil. This was on the kill stream with Ethan and Ralph. Anna, does Portuguese food have tons of oil? It depends on what you're eating. So I don't like seafood, and a lot of Portuguese food is seafood. But um, so I'm from the Azores or my family's from the Azores. So our food's a little bit different than mainland uh, Portuguese food. But in my experience, yes, there's oil in some food, but uh, it just depends on what you're eating. Like all I food. I did enjoy it. Like I all food, like that. Greek food could be. <laughs> when I went really to Portugal, too. I really did enjoy the food, which was really oily for my taste. And I was just like kind of taken aback, but I also just like making fun of it. Gotta get a napkin. Yeah. Dab it on. But <laughs> 
True, true. Chrissy, okay. you seem upset though. Are Me? you okay? Did it did it really Oh, you? am I okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I was just trying to I wanted to just get through all the soups and then um maybe land this plane. Okay, Sue Ball sucks that most saw this coming. He was doing amazing till the rage pig came out. Great stream as always, Chrissy. Nice to see a team of supporters come to your side immediately. It's a nice internet moment. Yeah, it does. It feels weird. I feel like, I don't know, it's fucking out of nowhere and undeserved and I'm a little annoyed. But I know that it is not a reflection on me. And uh, everyone's got issues. <sighs> Winston, finally, from Winston. Get Pippa, Pippa, Pimpkin, Pippa on. She's live on her channel. Probably not tonight. I don't, I don't, is she trying I don't to get, think you can. trying to get her on Nick's channel, but um, her. You have to go through like, like her production yeah. company or something, and they like don't want her own drama. Yeah. Okay. I can understand. I, I do, I do also have a super chat that somebody sent me that was $50 to add to, to bring it up, I guess. Um, they want wanted... you a super chat. Yeah, I've I've been streaming. Yeah, too. I'm getting a I'm bunch of super too. chats right now too that I would like to read on your oh, screen. God. Isn't that kind of like not classy? Isn't that like? Is yeah, that I know. I'm a not classy person. I'll do anything isn't, for money. Is that something you all you guys all do? I think I yelled I at Alex Stein it. for doing that once. I don't do super <laughs> chats. I think they're for. Um, I think she's talking I'm about stream sniping, not oh, super okay, chats. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I was just watching because I, I I kind of anticipated Ralph having a. Uh, uh, not good time, and I was uh, pretty much right on that one. But uh, Nexus said, "I uh, wants me to say PPP's claim to fame is when he showed his starfish on live stream because Ralph was calling him the F slur." What? Yeah, uh, PPP showed his people? asshole on stream, yeah. uh, like you, way back. You in guys the day. actually share a name, Ashton. You're both named Ashton, and he shared. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sometimes people will be like, "Yeah, Ashton showed show their butthole on stream and stuff." Oh no. I have never shown my butthole anywhere, so... Anywhere? Not even, like, in the shower or something? Aww. <laughs> just the, you gotta just clean that thing every once in a while. Listen, I know you're not out there getting it. felted, but, uh... Whoever smelt it, felt it. Ethan Ra okay. uh, Evan Ralph, my brother Ethan locked me away in a mental asylum and steals my disability checks. He didn't even bring me to my parents' funerals. Real, by the way. See, I can't laugh at that because I don't know if it's I real. Can. That's funny. I don't think it is, but the guy, the guy loves to post oh. that. I've seen that like so many times and now. Then, McLean, why are you girls oh, talking to Bigel? I have no idea. <laughs> because he's question, here. Percy? Why not? Can I ask you a question? I wonder how this would go if this were like uh, mainstream media, like a late night show, and they were like <laughs> reading the audience's super chats, like how the guests would react. Oh, that's be a so good great. idea. <laughs> That'd be great. Chrissy, can I ask you one question? Yes. Yeah, it's it's uh, like it's a normal question. Where did you get your um, Chinese lamp? This? Yeah. Is this a Chinese lamp? Well, um, you know, whatever you call that. I don't know. I call it a Chinese gosh. lamp. Maybe Target. Target. How much would you say that cost? Like roundabout thirty bucks. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Why? Well, Amazon exists. There's a lot. Of, yeah, it's on Amazon too. There's a lot of people who um, have that same lamp, and uh, some of them it's, claim like, "Oh boy, it was one of the most expensive lamps." But I keep oh, really? seeing it everywhere. Yeah. It's yeah. very trendy on Pinterest. Very trendy. You've got oh, it. Really? Mersh has it. Brendan Schaub has it. Really? Oh, wow. A guy, he's got two of them, actually. A guy the called company. Chimpanzee's got it. I don't know who no. any of these people are. Hold on. I know, I know. Oh, Brendan Schaub is a is your fucking pickle? rabbit hole. I've never oh. seen an episode of Rick and Morty, but is your pickle a reference to Rick and Morty? Because I just... I'll see that clip. I don't think it's funny, but for some reason, every time you talk in a pickle costume, I think it's hilarious. Um, it is. No, hilarious. it is. It is. A, it's just a substitute for being funny. This way, I can just I can say Aww. anything right now, and somebody. I thought it was a Chris Chan reference. It's a Chris Chan reference. Yeah, oh, okay. Chan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, how is it a Chris Chan reference? Chris oh. Chan was very famously upset with a. Uh, he doesn't like um, penises because he's. It turns right. out he was trans the whole time. He's a lady now. I guess I should say yeah. she. And so yeah, he would it. call penises pickles. Mm -hmm. And then somebody, he went on a date one time and it was being secretly recorded and a man in a pickle suit showed up and very famously wrecked his date. And then he was oh, quoted, he was yeah. quoted as saying, uh, the pickle man tricked me again. The pickle man tricked me again. And so, um, Eve, I believe Ethan Ralph is the new Chris Chan on the internet. And so I started I wearing see the that, suit. Cause it's once. like, 
everyone knows about him and like his antics and there's always something new happening he's like the second most documented man on the internet there's right that, now um, yeah. there's that image yeah. of ralph and chris like side by side with like a craze look <laughs> and it's really <laughs> funny yeah Okay, a couple more came in. Wow, Dan Vask, you're too much. Someone told me there was a fat gentleman in need of a wedgie here. Thank you, Dan Vask. Very talented <laughs> musician. Uh, XSL, Anna, isn't Latina? Time to take simp bucks elsewhere. Uh-oh. I don't know who uh -oh. A N A is. My name is Anna with two oh. N. It's four fucking letters. <laughs> Get it right. And don't you forget it. Post politics. I have a question. I recently got into anime and was wondering if the panel has a good hentai recommendations. I do not know anything. Uh, yeah. We do a filler. Yeah, actually, uh, we have an expert here. Um, oh, the dog in the cup. Metamorphosis. <laughs> Redo a peeler. <laughs> anything is cute when you're like a dog in a cup. That's yeah, I, 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 I find that it definitely helps. <laughs> I'm trying to match like his, like, like this is how the head. this little cup like creature in a cup. This is how like if people have to get fired online, it should be with like a little creature in a cup like this. Like it's <laughs> this hard is to what you'd be sorry, you but get uh, I'm not a cat. Online. Yeah, sorry, yeah. but your your, your productivity just isn't enough, and we're gonna have to let you go. I'd be like, oh, okay. I think I've got a suit costume for it too. That's cute. So it's a dog in a shark costume in a cup. Yeah. Aw. I have a Ralph. I have a Ralph one too. Really? Yeah. the The Ralph one is uh, the Ralph one's a little bit more involved. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh. It's like a durable. Does it move? Oh, it does. Yeah. And then hold on, hold on. I've also Aww. got. Um, that's I've cute. Also it looks got, like a uh, wart. I on. want one. Uh, is it control? Is it? Yeah. Are those boobs control? coming out from underneath the shirt. That's his gunt. That's his, <laughs> it's his, the gunt. It's his bifurcated gunt. Oh. There we go. And I can do this. And uh, I can do. Uh, oh wow! You can make faces. <laughs> He's got the oh God, the, the classic crazy. Ralph hat. Can you into Baby Yoda? Um, I think there could be one. Well, Chris, we got to wrap this up because we have to have a meeting. We got to wrap this up. Also, oh, yeah. let's uh, let's go stream bomb Nick Rakita. He just. Look, I'm a deer. Ellis Krupa. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, you're right. I'm a Scorpio. Uh, <laughs> Russell Hall. Hopefully, we'll see Ashton Starfish wrestling. Also, Barrett, that's cute. Uh, my last super didn't show up. It was because of medical inf misinformation. Uh-oh. Devil's uh -oh. advocate. Ralph can't be the new Chris until he boffs his mom. Okay. Well, I can't Senator. do that anymore. He could dig her up. Jesse, take the loyalty <sighs> pledge. Nick one does. All right. Oh, my God. And the final one next is if, don't get mad if another streamer makes money. Even if you're on a panel, a lot of times they stream too. Also, when it comes to even Ralph, it's lore that he is in a home and ralph but Evan in there. Ralph, yeah oh whoops okay uh, so much to catch up on all right finally from evan uh i'm not a meme flag renzo i'm a man also my last name is horenstein because oh boy all right all right guys. Mama Sandra, that, all, that about does it uh this was, it was about really... ethan's parents and how oh, that, uh, like that. oh my god i could Deep not be breath. less interested in all this backstory um Thank you guys for coming on. This was a fun show. H2BH, um, thank you so much for having me. Happy to be here at the show. Thank you guys Pod for Awful. Watching. Where can people find you and follow Awful you? Awful.tube. If you go to Awful.tube, it'll take you to my YouTube channel, Pod Awful on YouTube. Amazing. Uh, Flamingo. <laughs> uh, you can find me on <laughs> YouTube.com slash Flamingo TV. And uh, I, uh, when, Ralph, uh, when Ralph starts a hollering, I'll have uh, some interesting coverage, I guess. Oh my goodness. Ashton. Um, you can find me on Twitter as the Ashton blaze. Uh, I have a channel here on YouTube dedicated to all things nerdy like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, which is Ashton the Slytherin. If you want to check it out, uh, or if you want to check out my political stuff, I, I guess I'm Ashton birdie there, but I only post there as much as I used to, but yeah. Amazing. Anna. Oh, I didn't even um, realize you're Ashton birdie. Holy shit. Hi. <laughs> The Ashton Birdie. <laughs> My politics have changed since you probably heard about me. So okay, yeah, I, 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 it's whatever. I. What are okay. they now, Snape? My politics are Snape. Okay, Anna, where can people follow you? 
Um, just gonna look up that Star Wars girl. Big shout out to Nick Ricade today. He passed four hundred thousand followers or subscribers Ooh, on YouTube. Wow. So great for yeah. Nick. He's doing this stream right now. Uh, so everyone, go over to Nick Ricade's stream. It's called Ricade Law. Also, big shout out to Tug, that umbrella guy. He passed two hundred and twenty thousand subscribers. He'd been stuck at like you know, a uh, hundred for a while now. So shout out to both of them for covering this Amber Heard trial and dealing with crazy John people Amber. just like Chrissy did tonight. I think they're both toxic, but I'm with Johnny mostly. because Brittany Venti, where can people find you? Um, Drunk in my bed in a second. Oh. Um, so you can find me on YouTube, Brittany Venti, as well as uh, Saturday Supermodel. It, I have a second channel now I just started, so check it out. Um, it's like a funny spin on like feminine stuff. So I think it's palatable to men, as I always say, but if you don't like it, whatever, um, you probably <laughs> suck anyway. So like you could check me out on Twitter, Brittany Venti and Instagram, Brittany Venti and Saturday Supermodel is where I post my outfits. And thank you for having me on PC again. Sorry what happened. And also, um, as Anna said, shout out to Nick Ricada for 400,000 subs. Well yeah, deserved. Holy shit. Good Great channel. Him. Brittany, wow. thank you for standing up to me on Twitter. Not standing up to me, like um, defending Boring. me or whatever. Oh, okay. E oh, Ethan text wrote me that I, sp I spontaneously had several enemies on standby. They were not on standby. I was on standby. She I literally was just screaming. reached out How to Brittany I Ralph. Standby? I have been waiting backstage the entire show to come on, and this was all planned. Uh, and I, no, I was waiting for your meltdown, though. I was waiting. Okay. You did not disappoint. All right. Anyway, uh, we'll be at Orlando Megacon this weekend. I'll, then I'll be uh, at the Helium in St. Louis next Wednesday, the 25th. Then I'll be at the Vixen in uh, McHenry, Illinois, the 27th with, with Crip Daddy. Then we're doing two Simpcast live shows Saturday, May 28th in Chicago at Reggie's. Uh, and then in July, I'll be headlining in Buffalo at the Nickel City Cigar place. Uh, and then more dates to come. Just stay tuned and uh, go to my website for tickets, chrissymere.com. Thank you, chat. Thank you, everybody, for coming on. This was a wild one. We'll talk to you later. 